What the heck? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Round. Oh. Get your weight up, baby. F O A all the way. F O A Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. JG, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh man, JG showed up. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Martin? Lisa Elliott, misplaced. Got a um. Let's see what y'all got, gentlemen. I would say about thirty seconds. I guess. I got another intro I have to play. About wait. Let me turn this down. And let's see here. What's up, baby? Let's. This is the Fisher Thons Veterans Charity Tournament. Appreciate each and everybody for fishing it and joining in in the chat. Appreciate you, appreciate you. We also got it on Paul Meadows' channel and Chad's channel. This is the third, the third annual Fisher Thumb. Y'all can go ahead and cast out. Nine o'clock. Brian, can you hear me okay? Yep, cast them out. Somebody just came in the basement. Rigging for fatties. What's happening? What's going on? Ain't too much. Got Danny over there in the woods. Chris is over at a pay lake. Oh, how mercy. Ooh, need that coffee early in the morning. Get you, get you started. <laughs> That's why I like doing the, my evening turn. I ain't got to wake up all early and get ready and do this and do that. What are it's you saying, lot. Brian? There's a lot of work. A lot of work for what? Getting just up like, hosting the show? It's like going to work. Oh. 
Yeah, with well, see with these we got uh uh <clears throat> certain uh our sheets we had to do this morning, then we had to do another video, and then we had to make sure all of that, you know, it did, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what that's what it's all about when you're professional, you know. Yeah, I don't know about professional. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! Hold on, let me miss Jack. What's up, Steve Mosley? Let me see anybody, Marillo. What up? Brian, how's the wind on my mic? It's pretty windy out here. I, I can barely, barely hear, hear. But you can hear me okay. Yep. Pin four, I'll hush. Can you guys hear me okay? Is the wind a little bit strong here? Yep, you're good. All right. Loud and clear, loud and clear. I think everybody got a little wind today. You think? Yep, that's why I stayed in the house. I ain't gonna blow my hair off. Oh, man, you're supposed to come out here and host this show and fish. Nah, that would probably be impossible. Come on. <laughs> I'd be more worried about my rods than anything else. I wouldn't be paying attention to chat. I'd be yelling, fish on. Fish on. Howdy, boy, oh, Jeff Beal. Welcome in. I'm trying to get this banner. Okay, there it goes. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I copy this. Copy. How many how many people we got in the chat? We got about twenty seven and a thumbs up over on Facebook right now. Aunt Annette, welcome in. That's awesome, man. I didn't know that means people subscribe to your channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm only missing two. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to pin the uh, PayPal link to the top for anybody that wants to donate to the charity. Again, the angler, the winning angler uh, will donate to a charity of their choice of veterans. What's up, buddy? 217, welcome in. Don't let me, don't let me pin it. I got to go on the YouTube side and do it. Get over here and pin this to the top. So y'all can see that. Now we gotta go find myself. Bingo. Pay it to the top. That is the PayPal. Chad will send it to the one that they request and it will be sent straight to them. Good amount, good amount of donations for this goes to the veterans. We got Big Michael getting them out. Tony Harrison. <laughs> How's my audio, Brian? Uh, sound robotic? You sound uh, good. good. Okay. What's happening? Not fishing, but I'm here hanging out with Big Mike. Not to call my TV. Sweet.
That's where it like he got to his location. I seen that spot before, I think. That looks familiar. I'm Tower cats. What are they? Who? A tower cat. What's that? One, one of them. Pot- one of them Potomac tower cats. It's got a cell phone <laughs> tower hooked to its tail. What's <laughs> 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 up, Shade Tree? <laughs> I don't think you're gonna find one of those down there. We don't. We keep those close to us. I know you do. <laughs> We keep those close to us. Thirty-five volts of people in here. You can hit the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. It won't cost you a thing. I promise. I don't ever pick those, but I see what's what. See what everybody doing. Bug man. What's up, bug man? It's only staying at it raw like you getting a nibble or something. Where are you in South Carolina, right? Yes, sir. South Carolina Upstate. You got the sun out. Don't Palmetto, like Palmetto's in the low country, and we're in the upstate, God's country, up here in the mountains. Got gotcha. you. How's everybody this morning in chat? Danny Stone, JG, all my little fishing buddies. Y'all all right this morning? Man, it's going to get hot here today. We're looking at 80 degrees there. We were supposed to have 10 to 20 mile an hour winds. It is dead calm and hot. Well, spring is well, strong. That's well, I would take man. that. I got uh, about 15 to 20 mile per hour winds here and only about 49 right now. But we're supposed to get that 80 as well. Man, there ain't enough wind here to blow out a candle. <laughs> Matt got a fish here on already. They're going to one of them Potomac fish you wanted. Mac is on whose channel today? He's on Kevin's, I believe. Yep. Okay. Got a fish on. First fish of the tournament. Who will win it? Who will win it? <coughs> hey, hey, Brian, you know what that means, right? He might not catch no more, but he on the Potomac, Danny. That's kind of hard <laughs> to get one. No. Hey, I didn't catch the first fish. Oh, that's the yeah, first yeah, good yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. You right about that. Dan, I appreciate that, man. Get that one fish out of the way and turn my <laughs> curse loose. Let it go. Oh, uh, yeah. Chad's back up here. Steve Austin, Nina, what up, sis? Seen somebody else come in. Skull Rush, what up? 205, what's happening? Backfish weight. Back going for the smallest fish award. Six oh, point wait, one. That, that that was Mac that caught that fish, wasn't it? Yep. Well, see, I'm not out of the woods yet. I can't be the first one to catch a fish on this channel. Very true. Very true. Crap. Y'all need to get on it, man. Come on, somebody get some. I don't care if it weighs a half a pound. 
<laughs> hey Brian, you heard what you heard what Chad said. He was like, the winner's gonna come from my channel. Chad, I, told, I, I told him I sent him a message. I said, Chad, you need to wake up from your dream, brother. <laughs> yeah, Chad don't know no better. He he don't. I ain't never seen a man drive twelve hours and fish fifty feet from a dock he could have walked out on. <laughs> I think he went for the food. I'm just kidding. He got a little Chad. He went for the for the delicious dinners and breakfasts. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Hey, you know Danny Stone came up with a new rule for us, didn't you? He said that all us boat anglers had to throw our death finders in the lake. <laughs> Yeah, won't be throwing mine in there, that's for sure. Uh uh. No, no, no. Ain't happening. Cool. If we do that, then Danny gotta throw his uh never mind. Yeah. Let's just keep, let's yeah. let him take everything out of the water because he's known he's known to uh make a big water. Surely not. <laughs> You got fish, Chris? Oh. No, sorry. I just finally got to a spot. Got you. Hey, can you turn your phone sideways? Will it rotate? Yeah. Give me a second here. Tie off yeah. and actually get centered here. Got you. Got somebody on here that they, they, they say they're a professional catfish angler. Uh -huh. We're gonna see today. We're gonna see today what he do. I ain't gonna put no names and put out there, but you know. We well, I'm all for professional. <laughs> Right now, the donations are up to $220. Nice. Danny Stone said he'll do a dance in his long johns if we can get to 500 before noon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only one problem with that, man, I'm commando today, so you oh, probably don't have that happen. <laughs> That's fine, man. Danny going to be running around out there looking like Ernest T. Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just going to get on. Yeah. Hey, Brian, it, this is my first day fishing, so I'll get it together here in a minute. Hey, take your time. Yeah, hey, I got to use this thing. Something with the iPhone. No, connecting something with the new phone. We got plenty of time. There you go. Oh, that's right. We're not fishing till two. We're fishing till three. That's right. That's yeah, right. you got plenty of time. You got plenty of time. Yeah, I'm using that phone. No problem that phone. Oh, yeah, that works a lot better. I can see you guys better now, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, it does help with that. <laughs> Sorry for the bouncing around, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah, it definitely helps. Somebody got a fish on. Yeah, I already, I already told Brian. But, uh, I'll wait to come back. Oh, who's that? Who got it? Who got it? Daryl. Daryl. That's my brother Daryl, my other brother Daryl. That's our brother we keep locked in the basement. Man, that's the truth. <laughs> that's a private warship. We must got Woody with him. Right here on the Steve, that mac and cheese is uh that's an exclusive. That's a, I ain't made none in a while. My aunt been doing it lately. 
Small water charter, what's happening? <clears throat> well, I got a little flathead he caught. <laughs> let him go, let him grow. Why does it go back to that? Yeah, I already told Brian, but if you look down there in them trees right there, there's some guy from Arkansas fishing right there. <laughs> if, when he throws out the, I'm going to throw across his lines. I went out and talked to him a little bit. He said his name was Wanna Be Outdoors or something. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he's right down there in between them. Two, you see a little gap in them trees? He's sitting down there. Mr. Matt in the house. Yeah, he got some guy named Richard Cluck with him, too. Uh-oh. That's trouble. You got any rocks over there? No, no rocks. Just logs and sticks and limbs. Oh, I see where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nina. We showed it. I got them on the it other took a screen. Second. Hey, I, I see your plan, Brian. I'm with you. <laughs> but no, I got no rocks. Hey, Chris, what's going on? Hey, guys, I'm going to mute the mic. My buddy, the game warden, just showed up. Oh. Hi. What's up, Jimmy? Welcome in, Jimmy G. Said hello, everybody, and good luck. So, Daryl is in the lead with 10.34. <laughs> right, Lisa? Hey, Chris. Yeah. Well, catfish, Chris. <laughs> I was going to say, which one? <laughs> uh, some guy named Michael Chavez said, Chris and Howard ain't fish worth a lick. Oh, I'm <laughs> Mike, and we need to get Mike back out here. Hey, did Chris bring did Chris bring him a thirty five anchor boy today? Yeah, I got I got a, a sixty year old anchor boy. <laughs> hey, Chris, I Chris, I was talking boy. to hey, I was talking to Chris on the phone one time. And he said, "Yeah, man, you can come uh, help me lift this thirty five pound anchor all day." I said, "I'll pass." <laughs> What's up, fellas? What's up, Howard? I got the hoodie. Get Chris on some fish. He was talking trash all week. We got to go. uh, back it up. He said he wanted to fish his pond. <laughs> I'm fun doing it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, what's the mic in the chat? Yeah, Mike in here. Tell Mike, tell Mike uh, I thought he forgot how to call me. Mike said he retired from fishing. Oh. He, he can still call me. He's a professional chef now. Heck yeah. We're going to hook up on that rod. Though. Are you talking about Chavez? Chavez. Yeah. What's up, Lance? Awesome. That's awesome. Look at Danny pleading his case. What's the man? What's the man doing? Checking the ID on his rod? Yeah. Boy, I believe you got out. You got more than thirty rods out here. Those are illegal rods. And he don't have his fishing license. Surely not. <laughs> One a, a year or two ago, Bugman was out there fishing, and the game warden pulled up on him. 
and everybody was saying crazy stuff on the speaker while he was talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> sure. Not it was crowd. hilarious. I believe this crowd throw you under the bus if you let them. Oh yeah. See, Danny got a uh, hearing aid in, so. <laughs> Game don't, the game warden know, don't the game warden know Danny Stone's famous and they leave him alone? Right. What up, Uncle Lou? Mike Irvin. Mike said, Mike said he's still working the second shift and you got his phone number too, Kramus. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was retired by now. He's old enough to be. Good God. <laughs> Mike like that money. It's always it's always good to have a good relationship with your uh, local conservation agents. Well, I was telling Brian, I said, don't they know you're famous and leave you alone? No, he knows who I am. I know who he does. <laughs> yeah, Lance, that was funny right there. Back a few years back, he knew me for a different reason. <laughs> oh, I was back when you were. Every time he sees me, he says, I'm glad you straightened up. <laughs> I think that's the truth. Oh, let's see. You got a fish on over here. <laughs> Straighten. Let me see. Bring it up right here. Oh, bam. Boom. Fish on. Stand three. Oh, oh, he's going to be trouble today. Oh. He'll be all right. Yeah, there was absolutely no way we were fishing the main river today. Man, it is absolutely destroyed right now. Wow. But it's yeah, only right. a, the, the, the river's only about 200 yards downstream from me, so we're hoping these big catfish move up into this uh, this creek coming off the river. I'm going to go up and catch a Let's see what he got with the weight. I got a... Um... I don't even know what the river looked like. I ain't been um, even close to it. I was messing with the boat yesterday, played the carburetor, put that back on. It wouldn't start, hit it with a little starter fluid. It started up, ran, stayed running, cut it off, let it sit for about an hour. Went to start it again, wouldn't start, hit it with starter fluid, started up, it ran, kept running, turned it off, started back up, kept running. 10.30 for stand three. So I got to figure oh, out, it's a, it's, it's, a gas, it's a gas issue. I don't know why it's not getting it. It's not, uh, what's it, starts is good. I don't understand. What's up, Curtis? Quiet man, Curtis. Mike Irvin said, where's breakfast? I got my coffee. Let me show y'all what I need today. I got the good old Uncle Lou's cup. And she filled to the, well, it was filled to the top. Uh-oh. That coffee will stay hot for six hours or more. Well, that's a long time. To the Stanley? Huh? To the Stanley? Well, the Stanley. Bug. Let's see, I'm gonna bring up the scoreboard. Show everybody the stats as of right now. 
you can see where everybody at. Boom. Oh, got trophy seekers in first place at 10.34 pounds. Stan three in second place with 10.16. And Mac Fishing in third place with 5.92 and fishing not catching is in fourth place with 2.86 that's where it's at right now if I'm not mistaken let me make sure yeah everybody else is in got a five Quiet man, Curtis. I thought he retired. <laughs> I think he got put into retirement. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Josh Thompson, what's up, buddy? He said, morning, all. Good luck. Go bank. <laughs> what up, Josh? What's up, Josh? We got old fishing stuff in here. What's up, Keith? What's up? Nice What's up, Keith? Type. Keith. Keith don't fish neither. He retired. I don't know. He should be out here with me. He don't live too far from me. He's a DIYer now. Full time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's walking with see. the game warden. He might be Who in trouble. Who is it? Some guy. I don't know. Probably one of Danny's uh, friends. It takes all the beef for Danny. I had to mute my mic. I didn't want you guys to hear that game warden talk to them other people. So we got some strong wind. I think it was Tony. We gonna see. Two one seven rebel out know us. Two seven two, what's up, brother? You know, I'm glad uh, uh, Chris came by. That that the, the game warden here. I mean, he, he is a friend of mine. I've known him for a long time, but I finally got the chance to ask him a question. I said, you know, I said if if I ever catch or or one of my guys ever catch what we believe is a state record fish i said here's the thing i said in our community we will not kill that fish for a state record it's an absolute no-no if we think that fish gonna die we let it go and right. i said i said are you uh, uh are you set up to handle that if i call you and say hey i think i got a potential state or world record here he said dude he said you got my personal number call me anytime 24 hours a day seven days a week Wow. He said, we've got a tank that we bring down there that has uh, got pumps on it. It's got oxygen. He said, we will keep that fish alive for you. If you think you've got a potential state record, absolutely. He said, we'd, and he said the conservation department would love to be a big part of, of uh, catching that fish, it, weighing it, and getting it back in the water and having that all on camera. So, dude, I got the hookup. If we ever get something big like that, he's got me squared away. Nice. That's good to know. I gotta pass that information on to Richard too. I'm not telling Parker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Parker's out. <laughs> Two point eight eight is fishing not catching. Two point eight eight. He said he still fish. He went five times five times this year. The biting is terrible in North Carolina. Ain't no what? catfish in North Carolina. Ain't no catfish in there. Josh said he need three TVs in the bait store. Heck yeah. Three shows and working on the bathroom at the store. Said he bouncing on three channels and doing the bathroom. Cotton picking fishing? Well, the men. I ain't been fishing this year yet, Keith. So, <laughs> I, I don't even know what the bite is like. <laughs> I don't have a clue. 
I'm gonna get out there. Probably get out there this week. Bank or book, one way or another, I'm getting out there because next week's supposed to be in the 80s. Yeah, I'm getting out there. Mid 80s. Yep, next week. Temperature going. Hopefully they kind of stay close to what it will be next week because that, you know. It'll be like that and then drop down to 60 degrees. What up, Uncle G? Uncle G said, let's go bank anglers. Shut up, G. I don't, I don't know about all of that. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I told him you said it, not me. <laughs> Eighty pounds of fish in two hours. That ain't bad at all. You know, I, I done told myself today, if I don't catch any fish, I'm still gonna have fun. Because, uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, you guys keep an eye on my rods. I'm gonna sneak down here and throw stuff at Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends do. <laughs> That's why I asked him, did he have any rocks earlier? <laughs> I brought some uh, tennis balls or something. Like Tony getting another rod out. Well, this is my first trip 2024 out in the yak on the Missouri here. So whether I catch the fish or not today, I'm going to enjoy it. Every bit of it. I know that's right. Hey, What's up? Yeah. Chris, hooks and hammocks. All these daggone Chris's today. What's up with that? <laughs> What's up, Chris? <laughs> Uncle G says, sounds like Brian is live streaming from his bathroom. It's got the best seat in the house anyways. <laughs> I don't know about that. There are advantages to being a host. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Definitely is. Stone fly, what up? I think it's because I'm down in the basement. There's no carpet in here. All with floor, so then where I'm at in the basement, it's like a little drop back. So my voice is probably echoing a little bit. Hey, good morning, anglers, and good luck, Anthony J. All day. So, what'd you do? Move into the basement of your house? I put my uh, set my computer and stuff up down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew it was a different room. Mm hmm. Last couple of times I'd seen you. I'm uh, um I'm working on the on the on the back room, and uh, on the other side, I'm gonna make that my office. So that'll be pretty. Pretty good put together once it's finished. Wow. I got to put my screens up on the wall and make it all fancy. Fancy. Do a little something. Brian B quit uh, school because they had recess. Yep. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> uh, ain't no playing around here. Dominic Hollis is on Palmetto Caps, I believe. You got a fish on uh, Catfish on his TV. Nice. Are them boys yeah. dragging? Are they dragging? Uh, I believe so. I don't know. It looks like they might be anchored up. Oh. Kind of hard to tell when you ain't moving that fast, though. Yeah. It's been in the mid-90s the last two days here in Arizona. You guys can have the spring weather. We get mid-80s this week coming up. So we should be good to go. You know Dominic always late. What's wrong with him? He's always late to the party. What's wrong with that boy? Mm -hmm. I think his watch is broke. Oh, oh. Mm 
need a new battery in his watch. Because I think, what, last week he was about an hour and a half late. Oh, he sounds like something JG did. <laughs> you remember that? Remember that tournament I was going to fish with you, Brian, and I went to a lake and the daggum thing had a bass tournament going on and there was no parking. Oh, yeah. I had to go an hour somewhere else. <laughs> Uh-oh, look like they're going to get big fish of the day so far. Look like a, a, a gooder fish than the rest of them that's been caught. Gooder one. Yep. Yeah. Looks like a gooder one. I've only been late to a tournament once, and that was because of that was because of the weather. Nope, it ain't ten point one four. Ten point one four for Catfish Hunter TV. Awesome. On the board is good. Oh yeah, got to break the ice. I'm just learning. Bugman said twenty two. This can bring light on the fact. 22 vets commit suicide every day in America. So if you know a vet, reach out to them. Ask them to go fishing. Ask them if they are okay. Listen to their voice for signs. Absolutely. Amen. And don't forget that PayPal link is pinned to the top of the chat for anybody that wants to donate to the veterans uh, charity. Chad will send it to the charity of the winner's choice, and he definitely will show receipts. Most likely, he'll show it Thursday at, on the bait shop, showing that he sent it over to the people. They don't keep anything. 100% of it goes right over to them. Man, I had him looking all up in the woods trying to figure out what was behind him. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I should have changed the camera angle. You guys could have seen me throwing them sticks at him. You got them all stirred. Yeah. Yeah, he's just right down there. He's right there. Sorry for the whole rocking on mine. I put myself on a sandbar here. Not alone. Welcome in, buddy. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. The last day to register for the Iron Cat Live Bait Tournament is April 20th. The tournament will be April 27th. Right now, you got Parker Pursuit. My Bad Dude, Trophy Seekers Outdoors, Gene Tillman, Dominic Hollis, Northern View Outdoors, Wanna Be Outdoors, Tony Harrison, Catch Fish Plus, Cool Cats, Big Mike, Gene the Grills, Blue Line Adventure, Danny Stone, Stand 3, Rigger for Fatties, Catfish Hunter TV, Pontoon Jody, and F.O. Wade. Get into that one, you got to the 20th. Yeah, that well, tournament there, I'm really looking forward to because uh, we're going to pack the camper up and head up north, and I'm going to have my granddaughter Coda with me on that tournament. Nice. Sweet. Nice. So I had a boat yeah, zooming through. She got a. a <clears throat> Rod and Reel up at uh, CatCon. Uh, J Dog bought her the brand new Glacier Mad Cats rod. And Chad and D bought her a brand new Mad Cats reel to go on it. And uh, that'll be her first trip with that rod and reel. She ain't even got to use them yet. Wow. Sweet. It was a pleasure meeting you two up at CatCon there, too. You too, man. Chris, you don't, you don't have to lie to Danny. <laughs> I think he was talking about Coda, though, not me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony J said, less yapping and more catching, Danny. 
So you guys had the perfect opportunity when I came back. You should have said, man, three of your rods bent down double while you were gone. And they were almost pulled out of the rod holder. Well, we, we we know you don't need to catch the first fish, so I ain't rushing you. <laughs> <laughs> I never. So, so far, I've just had two little bites. And when I was there talking to Matt, he he had two rods that got hit. But uh, they're, they, they're not uh, very aggressive today right now. Maybe it'll pick up here in a little bit. Look at that wind whipping over there with Tony at. That wind is whipping. Chris got a fish on one? I didn't know he got you out fish still. I can see it. That's different. It's a good size one. <clears throat> About 25 or so. I, I forgot that you knew how to fish. I've seen pictures, but I ain't never seen you catch one. I've seen Howard catch some, but not you. Yeah, that, that looked like a Dr. Meter scale he got there. <laughs> Dr. Meter scale, huh? Dr. Paint. Meter, that's Dr. Meter. Do you use this toenail polish to paint it black? <laughs> fish you're not catching caught another fish, 2.34 pounds. Catfish on the TV is on the fish. And what is this? The uh, the it's the three biggest fish, right, Brian? Yeah. Okay. That 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 eases my mind a little bit. They can catch all the big ones they want. They can only count three of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. As long as they can only count three of them, I got a shot at catching up. I was going to say you're going to keep it or toss it, but I don't want to give JG flashbacks. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> hey, I came, I came, I came within point A to winning that. <laughs> you threw that, that, uh, that fish back. I was like, oh, my goodness. He should have weighed that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, live and learn, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's about a minute left. He just took the scale out the box. I ain't never used it before. There you go. Get a little rod. Bouncing a little bit. Gills and grills.
They was in the basement. In fact, there we go. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's not when it's when it's What's happening? Twenty five. Twenty five. What'd you say? I can't hear you. You're going in and out. Still can't hear you. Hold on. Me put that camera right in that sun. I'm black. Yeah. <laughs> right. I see. I see how Chris is playing today. He go put the camera on the sun and blind all the competition. I'm sorry. What is it? <laughs> it's oh, I thought first, you did it on purpose. Yeah, it's his first how day videoing. How much is it? Hey, Danny. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How much is it? It say 28. It's bouncing from 28.16 to 28.54. All right, you pick whatever you want. What's the net way? Zero. All right, hold on a second, Brian. Go ahead, dump him back. We just had that one went down just a minute ago. Hold on a minute, Brian. Got you. All right, bring it over here. No, 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 not that. Okay. You have to zero it on the net. That's what it was. No. Three point zero six. Three point zero six. All right. Um, Danny can tell you in a second how to do it. He did a video. What's he doing? Trying to get that Mad Cat scale lock? Yeah. It just keeps bouncing around. Just hold down that tear button. Hold it down and you'll see it'll say H on or H off. When it says H on, that's your hold on is turned on. Hold down the tear button and don't let off of it until it says H on. But at a 25 10 for oh, Chris. I doesn't do that. The tear. This one doesn't do it. It just goes pounds and that's, that's all it does. Hold down the tear button. Yeah, we did, uh, we did that. You got to hold it, it down to All right, there it goes. H, is it supposed to be H off or H on? H if on. it says H off, hold it down again till it says H on. There it goes. All right, we got it now. Thanks. There you go. Glad I can help, buddy. Thank you. Send me a <laughs> Your scale will now lock. Thank you. <laughs> Just go tell me the points. Maurice, what's going on? Slow low Texas, what's happening? <laughs> hey turn, do your phone rotate? Can you can you rotate it to uh, go full screen? Yeah, one second. Okay. <clears throat> I can't get to rotate. Okay. I basically haven't backed my car because of wind here right now. Got you. 
<laughs> Can you see the rods or? Hey, Brian, I caught three of these. Oh, man, that's the catch of the day. I see one, two. How many you got out there? I'm a little blind, too, so. I got three. The other one's on the left side. You probably can't see that one. Got you. Everybody got win today. Not me. Yeah, you don't have no win. Don't look like Big Mike got a lot of win. World don't have no win. I got a light breeze. You got a little light breeze. Little light breeze. Guess what else I ain't got? No fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't catch the first fish, so you good to go now. Oh, man. So little Texan said, good luck, Angus. Well, Brian, if you remember back when we did uh, uh, Mark from Catfish and Crappie, he had the uh, March Madness, and the final four was uh, you, me, Freddie, and Creole. Uh -huh. I made it to the final four in this spot. I fished every tournament right here. Over oh, Yep, this is why this is why I was at when I beat Lee Evans. This is where I was at when I beat Tara. And this is where I was at when I got beat. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, that was a rough one for me. Oh, I know. We couldn't take the boat out. It was so, the water was so choppy. I said, "Oh man!" Then we had to go to a, try to find a bank spot. Went over there. That wasn't good. Then I made a move, and that was worse. Freddie caught more fish that day than he ever caught a day in his life. I said, "Oh Lord!" Well, dang, real horse. Tony got a fish on. Nope. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and give some uh, advertising for the bad cats. <laughs> MadCatsGear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cats Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. There you go, LEAGUE10 to get you a win. Fish on the TV, hooked up. Nice. Let's get them over here on the screen.
And three fish. He got a fish. I think that's the second one. About the same size level, ten pounder. Spans is a nine point five two. Yeah, Josh, that happened like, uh, that happened last year. Oh, man, it's coffee. Why bring the catfish on the TV? Can they ain't wait to fish? See, I got this on a split screen on one TV, but when I share it, I got to get off of one channel. But I should be able to drop that channel down or slide it over. But let's see the stats. Let's check the stats for all the people. The people want to see the stats. Right, that's the total right there. In first place, got Catfish Chris with twenty five ten. Second place, you got Catfish on the TV with twenty one oh two. Third place, you got Stan three with nineteen point five four. Fourth place, Trophy Seekers Outdoors. Fifth place, Cat. Uh, fishing, not catching. We only had what five, six green whale fishing, and Mac is in seventh place with five point nine two. Nobody has a full no fishing, not catching has a full bag at eight point oh eight, and they look like they only was with a full bag right now. And the uh, donations is up to $246.47. Nice. Don't forget the PayPal link is at the top of the chat. I'm a little behind on the YouTube. Didn't know I was missing y'all beautiful peeps. <laughs> And three, one of the mad cats did fish last week. Look like Howard hooked up. Matt just caught another fish at 8.22. Howard's hooked up. We see. We, we see. Top dog. Rookie mistake. Top dog. Oh, man. Come on, Howard. We lost it. <clears throat> I ain't even see that, Stan. I only see it when they share it.
I only see it when they share it over here on the other screen. Then I'll tell them what the total is. Because then I will have to go log into the PayPal to bring the total up. I already got like four or five screens going. <laughs> Making me work for my money. Making me work for my money that I ain't going to never get. I can't find my pen. Man, look at that win over there with Tony at. It is whipping. Woo! Trees and all kind of stuff. It is whipping out there. No. no. But, got to catch the big ones today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That on the brave, brave, brave the elements. Absolutely. I was hoping I could break that branch, get that branch out of my way, but it broke off. You know, Tony likes trimming trees. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get you a rope, wrap it around me, and hook it to the truck. When you pull off, just yank it on out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if I get a pack. Pack that one branch, I'll be good. <coughs> it fell off in the water somewhere. Right. Just let me know if you decide to do it so I can have you full screen. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right. You're going to have to entertain us somehow, Tony. We're not doing a good job. <laughs> I'm going to have to go down there and do something. That's the, right. that's the spot I'm trying to get to. Hey Tony, you you heard yes. me talk commentating about you last week or so about you need to write that book about, and here's why. Oh, I'm telling oh, you, you mean, man, you're gonna, you're gonna make you're gonna make a fortune doing that. Yeah, you know what? I, I got a long list of them, that's for sure. Well, write the book, and we'll all buy it. All right. Might and, be you know, we gotta have we gotta have edits, you know. Well, if I do a book, if I do, if I write the book, then I'll probably, it'll probably turn into a movie and yeah. I, I, we can do, you can do the score. <laughs> you know, they used to do movie soundtracks. Now they just throw some junk, you know, it'd be, don't even make any sense. <laughs> Look, man said he got some branches some snippers in his truck. Yeah, I'm just. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's really rocky down there too. I don't want to take a chance and fall and hit one of the rocks. And, and then I, and then you, and then you won't be able to fish. No, yeah. no, that's out. You, you'll probably get blue butter a year though. Nah, I don't need that one. <laughs> <laughs> don't need it. Don't want it. So you'll pass on that one, huh? Oh man, I fall all the time. It only hurts for a couple <laughs> days. Yeah, that's Danny talking, the bionic man. Yeah, I got parts all over me they had to replace. <laughs> <laughs> Danny is the six million dollar man. Oh, look like how I was hooked up. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna mute everybody else because the noise is cutting them out. It might be bigger than we thought. Might be about the same as the other one. What do you think, Hootie? Can you call it? What do you think? Can you call it? 26.5. 26 26.5 is what he's calling right now. <laughs> we gonna see. 26.5. That's what he's calling. Oh, we're getting ready to get a double up. Shoot, we got a double up. Uh oh. Turn your camera a little bit. Uh, hang on. We, he, he just let it go. He heard that other fish screaming. He got a little boat bike. Hey, he might take it down. He's hitting it again. I just put a live perch out there. Live perch. Live perch. 
we just jigging them up beside the boat. Uncle Jeep said, Palmetto Cat Brand Coffee. If it can help you face 3,000 plus crazy students each day, then it must be good stuff. Order now and Daryl will give up fishing and go back to finger painting. <laughs> In the net. In, in the net. Maybe 10 if we're lucky. Maybe 10. He got that other rod going down. Chris don't know what to do. He can't multitask. He can't chew bubble gum and walk. Get a weight on. Big Mike hooked up. Let me know when y'all get the weight. Got a good one. Flathead, too. Mark of Pursuit hooked up. Sixteen point nine six. Sixteen point nine six. Got you. Minus three point oh six. You said nineteen point what? What did I say? What did we say? What'd you say? Sixteen nine six. What'd you say, Brian? It's sixteen point nine six, Brian. Sixteen point nine six. What you say? Twenty six six. Like you real your your volume real real low. Twenty six six seven. Twenty six six seven. With the net way, you tear the net. Say that again. Nine, one pound. Oh. And what you say the fish was? 26 what? 26, six, seven. Six, seven. Got you. So 25, six, seven. 
Gotcha. Big Mike, 25, 6, 7. Let them go, let them grow. Back. Hit the button for everybody. Tony, your phone fell down. Size matters, mate. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, good. Is this a six rod limit? Yes, sir. All right. Six rod limit. Big Mike backed out. Might be trying to fix his volume. My phone, my tablet did that. The wind blew it over and shattered the screen. I was at Jones Point. I never went back there again. <laughs> For a case, I ain't had no case on my tablet at that time. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna uh, put you on mute, Tony. Okay. That good old wind. Huh? Let me see. Is it supposed to be windy all day? Windy all day. Uh, yeah. Windy all day. So later on the night. What is evening? I think I was outside with a hat on. Don't want to mess my hair up. Let's see here. Let's go to the stats since everybody's caught their fish. Let's see where everybody stands right now. Boop. And there we go. Catfish fish on the TV in second place. Got Catfish Chris in first place with 39.02. Catfish on the TV in second place with 29.98. Third place is Big Mike with 25.67. Stand three in third, fourth place, 19.54. Fifth is Fishing Not Catching In. Sixth place is Mac Fishing with 13.42. Jerry is in seventh with 12.77. Trophy Seek is in eight. 10.34. Green Wheel Fishing. Ninth place with 7.66. Six. Stop that. Somebody in the basement. Boop. There you go. Can you hear me better now? Oh, heck yeah. It's like night and day. Okay, there you go. I just had to read all the things and not come back in. Gotcha. That's 2667 and the net weight 0.99. Gotcha. I got you for 25.67. 
Josh Thompson said, Danielle dropped her phone fishing and fell flat on a little pebble. Crap, yeah. Fishing with bacon? Nobody is fishing with bacon. Absolutely, <laughs> Absolutely not. No way, no way. What's wrong with that dude? <laughs> I went, I went down there and Matt was getting a bite, so I had to stick my head up in front of the camera to block it. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin ran me off. <laughs> Fishing, not catching. It's hooked up. Let's share that. Boop, boop, boop. Well, maybe not. Oh, Jerry got a good one. Oh, Parker. <laughs> Dude, he's only an hour and a half away from me. That don't work. Now, Jerry's water is dropping right now, and uh, mine and Richard's is still coming up because we're below the Ohio and he's above it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he's got way better conditions be. right now. He, yeah. He's got some good stuff going on up there. He'll probably get on some big fish today. Yeah, he got one now. He got a nice one now. That's just a warm-up fish. That's not even close to what he's going to catch. <laughs> Trust me. I know Parker. I know where he's fishing at. He's going to do some damage today. Piper Street, what's happening? That's a 42.90 fish. 42.90. Nice. 42 pounds. Somebody just taught it. Saying that, I don't know what they're doing. Right, let's get out of here. Somebody got some wins. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Man, that pole looks a little on you. Fatties, I got you on mute. Let's show some love to our sponsors. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rouse. Oh. Get your weight up, baby. FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. Absolutely, FOA. You can use code BBC for 10% off at foacustomsandgear.com. Good old Freddie and Nina.
No <laughs> catching dink dinks. Said the ten Tennessee River is still five to six feet low. Yeah, apparently we're pretty much stuck here and committed to this spot. We talked to the game warden a while ago, and the, the road that gets back to our plan B spot is underwater. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so we had a plan B, but uh, it got flooded out. Plan B is a no-go now. Yeah. He said you can't get back there. He said that road's four feet underwater. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I see that rod. I see it. I see it. The way he said it, though, it sounded like it was a dare, though. He said, you can't get back there. I'm like, well, you on a bit? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was daring me. I'll try. Uh-oh. Y'all said go to plan C. He didn't get that far. <laughs> he didn't get that far in his planning. Look at that water. Man, I get in. a headache coming up with plan A. There's no way I'm going for B, C, and D. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that water with Tony at. Woo. Man, they went in with him. Stand day tomorrow at nine o'clock on two stands fishing. You ain't got nothing to do. You're going out to the water tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Email stand at two stands fishing at gmail.com. Let them know. Send me the link. <laughs> Two stands said, you, you want to get something done, tell country folk they can't do something. They'll yep. say, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Two stands? Said, hold my beer there, buddy. <laughs> oh, wait. I thought that was the last thing you heard before they died. <laughs> Hold my beer. Thompson's outdoor on Wall on 68, just east of the Watts Bar Dam. Who gonna catch the next fish? Let's see. Like squirrel made a move. Well, I'm fixing to chase some baits out and move some rods around. Throw them in different spots. Right. Throw them over here by Richard. Pretty sure they won't do that. I'm trying to see where they at. I don't see them on screen. Who channel are they on though? Oh, um. mm -hmm. ain't slam. Uh-oh, Stan said there's a big fish coming for somebody on screen. We won't see. We gonna see. 
We need about a 65 pounder to come on screen. Trophy seekers outdoors hooked up. Just go on over there. said he got several hog scales coming but still back on it. Real horse, it ain't no age limit. There's no age requirement. No age requirement at all. Uh-oh. Like they got Woody got that that rod is bent down. Under the boat. This is in the boat. And there it is in the boat. I say, Stan, you gonna name everybody? <laughs> you gonna name everybody? <laughs> <coughs> Stan said, I think it's gonna be JG or Danny or maybe Chris. No, wait, rigging for fatties. Oh, hell, it could be any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Stan. <laughs> he said, I mean, look at Daryl. We are all younger than him. Yeah. 99% of the community is younger than Daryl. He's an old fart. JG, I got you muted. I hear that wind whipping a little bit. Let's see what that weighs. for the lock-in with his swing. Them sling when they be holding them up like that, it's like it got a body in it. They weighing a corpse. I 
they got them waves coming and rocking the boat. So it's hard for that scale to, to lock in. It's a body bag. <laughs> oh, Lord. Daryl definitely has a face for radio. That's a good fish. I didn't see the weight of it. Tanya Hollis, channel member, welcome in. Say good morning, everyone. Good luck to all the anglers. Yeah, they might have to. Oh, if Daryl falls in that water. Oh, my God. He was linked over. <laughs> that would have been epic. <laughs> Voice for silent movies. <laughs> some good coffee. I recommend everybody go get them some. That fish is bouncing between 32.7 something and 33. And it keeps swinging because of the water, so it's, it's kind of hard to lock in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got his depends on, that's for sure. <laughs> he don't leave home without him. Yeah, it's kind of hard for them to lock that in. Kind of hard to get it locked in. Ooh. That's the same channel. I don't want that. I want Kevin's. There we go. Boom, got him. You hooked up? He looked like he about to take off running trap. Like a beautiful day out there. Beautiful day. If I'd have known it was going to be this windy, I'd have brought my little Freddy rods out here today. Yeah, they don't move around as much. No. 
supposed to always bring you Freddy rods, man. Yeah. I've got I got two down rods right here on Freddy rods. So, but I'm sitting right here in a in a uh, creek channel. It comes off the main channel. I was trying to give it give it a chance, but it's going it's time to move. We we'll have to start moving. So uh, I'm gonna regroup here. Y'all ain't is it, anybody catching any fish on our channel, Brian? On our channel, no. Oh my God, we gotta remedy this. Chris caught two fish. Least, that was it. You know, at least a brim or something. Come on. <laughs> this big Mike caught twenty six, right? Oh, yeah, big Mike caught a fish. Yeah, that's the big fish of the day, right? Mm -hmm. Mike, Mike, Mike. I can't see the I can't see the phone screen, but Mike's fishing with us. Yeah, Greenwell. No, Big Mike. Big Mike. Yeah, okay, cool. He caught the uh, 26, and Jerry caught a 40-something. Let me bring up the scoreboard. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, he caught a 40. Mm. Nice one, Jerry. Yeah. 39 and a half. Whoa, somebody got some wind whipping. Hey, Brian, can you see this rod right here on my right? Let me see. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Can you see that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to mute, uh, Tony. There you go. That's what it was. All right. <clears throat> I just got I just I just got a bite. We'll see what happens here. He might he might have took my bait. <laughs> Fishing on credit, man. You got Jerry in first place with 30 uh 52.32. Awesome. Catfish on us TV in second place with 50.60. That puts uh Catfish Chris in third place with 39.02. Fourth place Trophy Seekers with 35.58. Fifth place Big Mike. Staying three. Sixth place. Seventh place Fishing Not Catching. Mac in eighth place. Greenwell Fishing in ninth. They go to standing so far. But it ain't over. Believe that. But man said that is a great fishing boat, JG. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, man. I built this thing myself. That's an 18 foot tracker with aluminum deck tracker. There you go. This is Probably a nineteen. Eight, this is a nineteen ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. And, and I re put all you know new seats and all stuff on. But it serves me well. I like the payments, you know. That'd be zero. Oh yeah. Ain't nothing like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, this wind's picking up a little bit. If I could just I mean, get this motor straight, it's not holding fuel. Thought, well, you having fuel issues? Yeah, it's, the carburetor is not holding fuel. It's, it, 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 it'll be good once it starts, but then once you shut it off, after a while, it seems like the fuel is dropping. So it might be the fuel pump. Uh, it sounds sounds like a carburetor issue, you know. Got something going on with the needles or something. Well, I just cleaned it, and um, yeah, you you buy that uh, gallon? Uh, what is that thing? It's a gallon. Uh, it's a gallon, like a paint a paint gallon of uh, carburetor clean. It's got a basket in it, and just soak that stuff in there about twenty four hours. You Actually, when I took it. Took it apart. It wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. 
I cleaned it up though and hosed her down with the operator cleaning and stuff, but my gas is getting sucked through after I spray that starter fluid in it a little bit. But then right. it, it it won't it won't stay. They, it'll stay running. But once I cut it off, turn it back on, it can start up. Oh. <clears throat> but like if I wait an hour and then start it up, it won't. Huh. So it's like it's like it's it got gas in the bowl, but then somewhere somehow it's it's going away. It's dropping back down. What you need so, to do is just take take a hammer to it. No, no, no. Oh yeah, just hit it with a hammer, it'll be all right. Mm -mm. I did that to the other one. So many people want to participate in the tournament. We are spinning it up on different channels so everyone that wants to fish can fish it. Absolutely. John Boys, welcome in. Yep. We got the tournament on Palmetto Cat and Fields to Water. Chris is making a move. Yeah, I got the wind picking up about another three or four knots here. I'm going to have to do something different. <coughs> right. I'm on mute, Brian, and I'm, I'm going to figure out how to fish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, last time I picked up three or four knots is when I fell down the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> you crazy as heck. Let's see. Who's this though? That's Chris. Chris Net, Big Michael Net. That's all I got for right now. Martin. Looks like everybody's kind of quiet now. Nobody's catching nothing. Making a move over here. Making a move over there. Time for a monster. Fishing for whiskers. What's up, Rhonda? Listening in while getting things done around the house. Good luck, anglers. Fishing not catching, hooked up again. Let's share this screen. In the boot. That's the father and son duo. If I'm not mistaken, they are fishing the Atomic. They are fishing the good old Potomac River. We lost somebody. Who we lose? Rigging for fatties. Let's, uh, Show some love to our sponsors. We got to do that. Name on the big lights. It sure looks good to me. <laughs> 
There we go. Don't stop, Nanny. Don't stop. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sitting there playing that uh, thing and look to my right, and lo and behold, Kevin and Chad is playing it. They need to stop copying me. Fishing, not catching, hooked up again. Like they down. If I'm, I don't know. Come on, fishy, fishy. In the net. We got it in the net. Got another little buddy. Oh man, I can hear that wind outside and it is whipping. <laughs> they trying to take the, <laughs> the title. The Dink Master title? They gotta see Freddy about that. <laughs> yeah, Danny was over there dancing, ain't think nobody seen him. See, where Tony at is rough. Where they at, it doesn't look as rough. But maybe they had a, a little cove or something. That fish was 6.82. Stand three hooked up. Oh, I got to bring the other screen back up. I've been going to the same two channels. Why is it not? Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. Carpenter Catfish. Welcome in. Welcome in. Got my PB this morning at 61 pounds. Sweet. All right. Rigging for fatties. 
Catfish Fever and Outdoors Lynn said you in his spot. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little spot. Takes me out of the wind and a uh, nice little deep hole here. Oh, yeah. Them fish be bucking that tail like they gonna go somewhere. You ain't going nowhere. You grip in. Nine point something. I couldn't see it the way he had the angle. It was nine something. Let him go. Let him grow. Why does it keep switching layouts? You all right, Danny? Was a... Oh, man, I'm old, dude. <laughs> that was a loud grunt when you sat down. <laughs> that every time. It does it when I get up, too. Squirrel hooked up. All right, That's... BB. I'm, I'm back. And I got a fish on. You got you. Fish is not catching hooked up again. Lucky Ronnie, what up? Fish on Big Mike. Gotcha. It's just a baby, BB. Gotcha. Let me know when you got to wait to it. Big Mike's doubled up, y'all. We got it. He on the tizzle. You don't want to wait that one again. All right, baby. I'm 1.76. That's the only one. 1.76? Yep, and I tore my I tore my grippers. So got you. There's the a person with the channel here. Right? Got you. 1.76 for squirrel. The channel cat is 2.56. 2.56. No net. No net. This other one he's reeling in, it's got a little more weight, I believe. Got you. Paul Meadow Cats. Hey, Mike, Kevin said, stop being stingy. Let them boys reel in the fish. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Palmetto for Mud channel member. Appreciate you. What the what? Grass way to bring the fish. That's a grass fish. <laughs> yeah. There's doubled up on channel rats. <laughs> Ow. He was foul hooked. He don't count. He was hooked to the eye. Hooked in the eye? Yeah, he was hooked through the eye. Like, I mean, it wasn't even in his mouth. It went right through his eye socket right there. It was, it was right on oh, wow. top of his head. Yeah, he dude, was, he had to hold that date when that hook got him. He was swimming on hooks, by. Sir. He was swimming on by. And got poked in the eye. <laughs> you like that thing, you baby? <laughs> That'd have been a good eater, cat. Right there. Look like old catfish, Chris. They got to their destination. Let's see if that move was a good move. I'm running out of coffee. Coffee. It's entirely too hot for coffee, B. Not in this oh, house. That's right. <laughs> I just had to buy some shade. I'm melting like butter here. If it ain't, if it ain't, I don't if it ain't know about all that, man. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, Danny, it's time for you to catch a fish now. I don't know. Operation well, Catch throwing, a Fish. We're throwing big baits because we knew that, I mean, you could come here with the, the little two-aught eagle claw and a box of worms. You catch all the little channel cat you want, but uh, they ain't going to do you no good today. You got to throw big baits here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three biggest fish. Yeah, so we're throwing some pretty, pretty hefty baits out there, hoping for the best. Any given moment. I know yeah, choose that moment right after the show's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it happens sometimes. I've done that a couple times. Reeled in the raw, the app out in uh, the live stream to end it, and still got a fish on it. Like that would have counted. Uh -oh. Freshening up some baits over there. Oh, man. Like pretty nice weather everywhere though, except for where Tony at. <laughs> Getting windy, cloudy. Fifty thumbs up. Appreciate you. And just a uh, reminder for everybody that be fishing. Don't um don't forget to put a uh googly muggly. I can't even say the name. Knew what I was about to say. I'll tell you in a little bit. Didn't <laughs> 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 miss the saying it. Holy moly. <laughs> You 
You're getting old, Brian B. Ah, oh, getting younger, getting younger. <laughs> yeah, we all listening in intensely there. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that important, but they. <laughs> I you start talking about it, then forget what you're saying. Look, look like cool cats is hooked up. Let's go see. Let's go see. Boop. I'm going to mute for a second. Let me answer this code. Alrighty then. I don't know why. Let me see if I could try to take this. How can I? I can't minimize one screen. Should be able to. Yeah, I do need some more coffee. Let me see. What's this? What this do? Oh, do no. oh. I'm learning. Yeah, I do need some more coffee. Definitely need coffee. Running low. Running low on fluids. Old James and got him a fish. I think that's their second fish. I don't know why it won't let me minimize one of those screens. I gotta exit out, then go back and bring it back up. It is what it is. Let's get a weight on it. <laughs> Is it me or do Dirk, uh, James' boat look like it's leaning? They both must be on that one side of the boat. <laughs> It is leaning twenty two point five five. There you go, twenty two point five five. Danny, that jump was leaning like a pontoon, like you had one pontoon filled up with water. <laughs> All right, 
And this is on Chad's channel. Now I need to bring back up Kevin's channel. I'm going to be getting a big old bite any second now. There you go. It's going to be a big old Plain bite it. out of this cherry cheese Danish. <laughs> 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 well, I guarantee hey. it. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, you say, I promise you. I can 100% guarantee you I'll fix it get a bite. <laughs> there you go. That don't sound too bad, I tell you that much. That's better than kicking the crotch. Yeah. I was I wasn't even thinking I should have put my order in for my Burger King this morning. Could have got my Burger King this morning. I'm going to go outside and have me some fun today. Hopefully. Uh-oh. Chris got a fish. I seen that rob been. Well. He stole the bait. Nope. False alarm. He hit that rod, though. Uh-oh. Team My Bad Dude hooked up. Let's see what them little jokers got. Let's get rid of this one. Where are they at? Huh? I know those guys. Okay. We're fishing the same tournament. Oh, yeah. Let me mute my mic. Ah, they out there in shorts. I know they was on the road yesterday morning going somewhere. Where did they go? Still rolling in. How far did they let their lines go out? Good gracious. They let them out of half a spool. Yeah, every time that old guy walks by here, I, I see him coming. I hit the mute on the mic if I can because uh, <laughs> he cusses like a sailor. And uh, he walked out there. He walked out there where Matt was. 
Mm. They didn't know that. He he got them. (laughs) 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 Minus two points for foul language. (laughs) Oh, we got the net out. Let's see that fish. What are you doing, Kim? What are you doing? Three point six four for Mac. Mac. Ooh, they got a good one. Oh yeah, they do. That fish is about as tall as uh, Bob. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's a good fish right there. Gracious. Get a little chilly. All right. Let's get out of here. I'll keep y'all posted. Let y'all know what it say when they get it weighed. I got something in front of my camera, Brian. Can you tell what that is? Um, hold on. You got something in what front of your that? camera? Yeah, it's something all weird. Ah! What the <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I had it on shared screen at first. <laughs> You supposed to be no, fishing. Mad cats. It got slammed a while ago. You're supposed to be fishing. I don't hear nothing. Hmm. Come on, fishy, fishy. Staying three hooked up. Hey, Brian, what time we got? We got uh, 11.15. 11.15 Eastern? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry, I'm Central, so. Oh. <laughs> it, it throws me off each time. <laughs> Bob and them fish was 63.08 pounds. 63.08 oh That's a good fish right there. Sixty-three. Wouldn't mind catching me, old sixty-three pounder. Yes, sir.
Alrighty. As my grandfather would say, alrighty nighty. Let's get on some fish. Y'all need to get on some fish. Next person to catch a fish gets to uh, take the catfish clothing's boat out for a month. Don't tell him I said that though. I don't hear nothing. You can't hear us, JG? Might gotta go out and come back in. Uh oh. JG, you might have to. Well, it can't hear, so it don't make a difference. Chat. <laughs> Yo. Probably got his air pods in. <sighs> Don't know how to tell him. Don't know how to tell him. I don't hear nothing. Tell who what? Nah, JG can't hear us. All you gotta do is go out and come back in. Oh. There you go. You just backed out. Kept saying, I can't hear nothing. <laughs> well, I can't tell him what to do if he can't hear me. Yeah, a lot of times you can go into settings and hit audio, and it'll have noise cancellation stuff. You can turn those on and off, and it'll fix it, too. Yeah. Sometimes it gets a little tricky. You do, it do. It gets a little tricky. Like earlier, I couldn't, Chris couldn't hear me, but I could hear him. I had to go back in my audio and change it. Unless he was messing with me. You never know. Never know with that guy. Rigging for fatties is gone too. Maybe he dropped service. Moving around. I need to put a dang on hoodie on or something. Tomorrow might be a good day. Miss Place said Blackberry is in the ground. Well, I think tomorrow here is going to be a great day because we got uh, 80 degree temperatures all day long. It's going to warm that water up. It's going to be 80 tomorrow. Uh, it should fire these fish up. Yeah, it should. We going to, what is it? Tomorrow, 77, Monday, 70. Oh, they didn't change. It was supposed to be mid 80s all week. But it's still yeah. high 70s. High 70s all week. So it'll be a, <coughs> a good week, excuse me. 
And then the weekend it drops to the 50s. What? It would be nice all week when you're going to work. Oh, yeah. That's where it works, man. <laughs> gotcha. Go Tony and Big Mike for the buck. What up, JG? Can you hear us? Yeah, I was, I was going along there and I couldn't hear nothing for about 10 minutes. I was like, I, I don't know why. I don't know. What's the solution. Yeah, I was trying to tell you, but of course you couldn't hear nothing. <laughs> How about now? You good to go? Okay, thanks. There you go. Yeah, I was actually having a conversation with Matt, we were thinking maybe uh, after a little bit, uh, rolling up and heading over to the main river and just fish right off the shoreline. But the problem with that is, if you leave these two spots we're sitting in right now, see that parking lot full of cars back there? <laughs> they're, they're waiting on you to move because they're, they, they're sitting there holding their chairs. When you move, they're going to come down and sit down right where you're at. <laughs> move your feet, you'll lose your seat. Yeah. There, there's literally people that will sit in their cars and wait for you to get done fishing so they can come down and sit where you're at. Oh, wow. That ain't no good. No, it's not. Uh, they better not sit out there one of them days you on one of your uh, all day fishing adventures. You be sitting there till midnight. This spot right here is fire at nighttime, man. I'm actually thinking about maybe I got the generator lights with me. I may hang around all day and go into dark a little bit. Be a whole different ball game then. Yeah. Do it. I'm seriously thinking about it. It depends on how many cherry cheesecakes I got left. <laughs> 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 Let's check these scores out. Let's check these scores out because the fish have been caught. Let's see where everybody's at. That's just my chat. I need to go to all. Got my bad dude in first place with one fish, 59.12 pounds. Second place is Parker Pursuit with 52.32 pounds. Third place, Catfish Hunter TV with 50.60. Fourth place, you got Catfish Clothing with 39.02. Trophy Seekers Outdoors with 35.58 in fifth place. Stand three with 29.24. Sixth place. Seventh place would be Big Mike with 28.23. Eighth place, Fishing Not Catching with 19.90. Cool Caps in ninth with 19.71. Mac Fishing 16.87 in 10th place. Greenwell fishing with 7.66 in 11th. And it should be a 12th place. Well, I'm not going to lie. Them numbers are all way lower than I expected them to be today. Squirrel in 12th place with 1.76. Excuse me. It's still early, though. That's true. So still right now, early. Jerry Parker's big fish overall is still holding, right? For the whole tournament. You said they what? 
I said, so right now, Jerry Parker is still holding big fish for the entire tournament as of right now, right? Uh, no. Yeah, he's got 62. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, I, really thought bumped that, I thought somebody bumped that 62 off the board today. I really did. It ain't over, though. Oh, no. Definitely not over. What do you say? Well, Danny B, that B, just B means they will be catching fish and just be like, you are, oh, wait, you're not. <laughs> that lady's crazy. Right now, the donations are at $246.47 going nice. to a veteran's charity. Oh, regulators of them won last night? I went to sleep. I was listening until I went to sleep. Lisa said, hello, handsome husband. What the what? Who's that? <laughs> Catfish regulators. Catfish regulators. Man, I gotta get. Hey, give me a hoodie. I don't know what's going on. It's a little chilly down here. Maybe because I ain't no point of turning the heat on. <laughs> he said, "Oh Lord, what have I done? Nothing, beautiful wife." <laughs> Might be in trouble. Might be in trouble. Like Chris and them gonna make a move. Did we lose somebody? Look like we lost somebody. Nope. Everybody. Everybody. What? Yep. Right. Caught a little one. You gonna wait? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going. Ah. They gonna make a move. Yeah, these guys fishing behind me over here pulling skipjack in like they're going out of style in white bass. Need some bait? <clears throat> Got bait. <clears throat> Let's see. There ain't nobody but Danny over there with the birds chirping. Yeah, they about to get on my nerves. They need to shut up. Ain't nothing to sing about. Wait till I catch a fish. <laughs> uh oh. I thought somebody was gone. Squirrel. Got the squirrel. Yeah, I'm. I've got charging issues. This crazy phone. Uh, I think I'm charging and it goes dead again. So we're charging right now. I just need a little power. I actually got some signal, so that's not an issue. Gotcha. Yeah, I know how that goes, man. I got charging issues too. They cut up both my credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. 
I, I need you fishing on credit, Danny Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Give Squirrel a chance, man. I am, buddy. Uh, I'm just sitting in this chair and ain't moving. You just do your thing. Go get them. The wind has picked up big time. I'm about to throw a drift sock out and hang on. Oh, drift sock. I think I would use my drift sock maybe two times. Well, when you fish lakes that have no current and, the, and you got a lot of wind, yeah, you'll, you got to have a drift sock. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Freddy? FOA Customs and Gear. What's up, FOA? Man, a I'm going to tell him when he get back. He, they making a move, uh, Freddy. I'm going to tell him when he get in here. Get back. Chris B. Capping. <laughs> Chris B. Capping. See. What the what the? I just want. Oh, here we go. Here it goes. Freddie, are you out fishing? I don't see you on screen. I don't see you on none of the screen. Jody, Mac, Mac, Gene, is that? Yep. My bad, dude. Oh, I see you. That's the way in the bottom in the corner. I see ya. I don't see your name with no numbers on it, so I ain't gonna ask you how to bite. Rebel River Cats, what's happening? Guerrero, what's up, buddy? I don't know. I might have to take a turn on this little space heater. It's getting cold. What in the world? Is it that cold outside? Something ain't right. Zip, zero, nada. Not even a bite. <laughs> the donations are up to $266.47. And where is Chris doing? Why is he driving so fast? He's in a rush to get somewhere. That's not even the the big boat. That's that other boat. That's that other boat we got. <laughs> he got a poop. <laughs> he got on his depends, so he should be good. He should be good to go. Look at that. Moving. All right, Freddy. Yeah, I'm going. Randy, old gray hair swing. 
on Danny, catch one or three. I'll be happy with one. That waist <laughs> three. <laughs> Danny said he ain't picky. There's been one guy behind me this morning. It's called Catfish. He got a, a little flathead just a little while ago. That's the only fish caught? That's it. But they're they're killing on skipjack and white bass right now. They're over throwing them skipjack rods. And they're man, they got buckets full of white bass and skipjack carrying them out of here. Gotcha. Here y'all go. This is the flyer for the Iron Cat. That's who is registered right now. We got to the 20th. To... Okay, thanks, Chad. You little jerk. Don't forget yep. you can order those styles on FOA Customs and Gear.com. I believe they are $3. That cup right there, well, both of them. They are on the website right now. Catfish clothing, uh, cups. Now I know I'm jumping ahead, but uh, on that uh, Iron Cats live bait challenge, what are they uh -huh. classifying as live bait? Live bait, ugly dog lord, what up? So um, I mean, it's got to be wiggling and kicking, right? Yeah. Yeah, Kevin. Can you take a live one and cut it up. He said no. Uh, it won't be live bait no more. He well, if you just you chop half of him off, he's still quivering. <laughs> <laughs> he, said you, he said you could use a worm next time. That's live bait. Don't think I won't get a box of worms and throw them out there. I will. Name it wrong, worms. Go for it. Go for it. I mean, not today on the live bait challenge. All right. I know what you're saying. Maybe even shove a nightcrawler in a skipjack's head and Run the hook through his lips. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. He's down in there somewhere. <laughs> you got your worms. You got your... Who is that? Trophy Seekers Outdoors at that. Go over here, see what's popping. Let's remove this. Let's go with this. In the net. In the net. Guerrero said, Be scaling. They still did when put in. That's like the best net ever. That uh, Hydro Web 80. That HB 80. Make it easy to net a fish in there. It pretty much can put any size fish in it that you can think of.
Daryl gonna get a weight on it. He can barely pick that fish up. He need to do some push-ups when he get home. He need to do a couple push-ups. That's a 12.32. I think take all two. So that's a 12.12. Where was they all at? That puts them in. Oh. That puts them in first place. I'm just looking for one fish around the 70 pound mark. Oh, no, it doesn't. It keeps them at third. They got 50.60. Oh, they're tied with Catfish Hunters TV with the same weight. Burrito. Hello, hello. Burrito catfishing lady, say hello everybody on the panel. Oh man. I can go for doing some push ups on a big blue right now. Hmm? Let's see. All right, folks. Let's show a little love to our sponsors. MadCatsGear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cats Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kevin sounds so professional. I'm in an online catfish turn. Yeah. And I'm getting pulled around. They're tearing them up all over the country. Where we at? Where we at? Okay. Got them both. Got them both. Uh oh. Tony phone wobbling. Gracious. Chris still moving. He almost to the Potomac. Danny over there cussing his rods out. <laughs> nah, I'm coming up with a plan. <laughs> <clears throat> I, no, seriously, I got an idea. See, 
That's scary. I'm fishing that. That's a straight down drop off ledge right in front of me. And uh, there's like a bunch of uh, brush piles and logs and stuff right below me here. But it's about mm -hmm. 20 foot deep straight down. I mean, if you fall off that edge, it's 20 feet. I'm thinking about taking one of those uh, double hook rod angling, uh, rod holders and stick it up there and stick that 16 foot rod straight up the bank and drop it straight down and use it like a suspension rod. There you go. I'm just going to drop it off the ledge right in front of me, straight down. And suspend it into that brush and see if there ain't a big flathead laying up in there. Matter of fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Go for it. At this point, hey. <laughs> Shoot your shot. What's up, Tony? What time did you tell Chris was the lunch break? <laughs> he on lunch break now. He's been driving for an hour. <laughs> was it 11 30 or 12 30? <laughs> I think he's coming. I'm about to go get something to eat. <laughs> hey, Roy Rogers here. around the corner. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sitting here hungry myself. I was going to make a move. I was gonna make a move, but since the tide is gonna, gonna flip, I might as well stay here and do the outgoing tide. So that was any better. Yeah. So, never know. That's the thing. If you move, you're always questioning yourself, even if you move. Yep. Can't go downtown. They got all the cherry blossom stuff today. Oh yeah. All the roads closed. I ain't doing that. That's a mess down there. All right, let me see who else is on here. JG, Squirrel, and Big on Spanish. See Big Mike, Cart One. We got two. We got two all day. Damn. Yeah. All right, well, we still got three and a half, three hours, ten minutes. Yeah. All right. Plenty of time. Danny about to do some some uh, Houdini stuff. I could go for him. A nice good old down, pizza. Right in front of me, about <laughs> 10 feet off the bank. Shoot your shot. Deep. It is deep, deep, deep. If that rock goes down, it's going to touch the water. I got it laid up here long ways. Well, don't you go diving in for it. Oh, you can count on that. My fat butt can't swim that good. <laughs> I ain't dying for no fish, dude. I ain't happening. That's that, that's that Jody rod. It's like the twin sister to Black Betty. It gets pulled in. It ain't no big deal, dude. Those are uh, They float. You just grab another rod, throw it out there, and reel it in. Those rods float. There you go. So, yeah, that's why I'm using that rod. It, if it hits the water... I ain't worried about it. I'll I'll get it back. Tell Matt go over there and get it. That's a good idea. I'll push him in and say, "Why well, you're out there?" <laughs> <laughs> Grab my rod. <laughs> yeah. You already wet, man. Just go ahead on pitch my rod up here to me. <laughs> Tell him lean over the edge and you hold his leg, his feet. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't think I can hold him up, man. He's a pretty big feller. Hey, just go. Hey, that's what you go with, though. It's like, oh man, you're slipping. Grab my rod. I'm going here. Uh oh. Now I'm a little back. Looks like I got a channel cap playing. Oh. 
man. Why does this screen keep coming up on Kevin's? And it says it's live. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. That's how I be. You got it? Nope. Add him for a second. False alarm. Yep. You just he grabbed on the bait. Oh. Uh, probably the little buddy couldn't even get that bait. He's nibbling. Nope. The way it's been going, I'll take a little action, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, a little proof of life don't hurt. What's up, yep. Mike Irvin? <laughs> <laughs> Proof of life does not hurt. Skip Jack Cindy in the house. What's happening? I might, you know what? Well, no, let me shut up. Cause I probably ain't. I might, I don't know. Play it by ear. Almost like this and keep going to sleep. Oh, that's his background. It's on the preview. I didn't click on the channel. I'm sitting there kept wondering why Kevin's channel on the other screen kept going to the thumbnail. Well, I never clicked on the channel to see it. Y'all look at this. Fishing not catching. Not fishing not catching, is it? Yeah, fishing not catching. Look how many fish they didn't caught. They didn't caught 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They didn't caught 13 fish. They're putting <coughs> that channel care spot though, aren't they? I think they I don't I don't know. I haven't I've seen them catch. I don't know if they were channel casting that. The biggest is only 6.34 pounds. No, Dude, biggest. they got a channel cast spot that is fire. But uh, like I said, you know, it, it, you're going after channel cast. So. Right. And they got those with only 19.9 pounds. My bad dude in first place still. No, it. Fishing not catching little ones that won the Uno tournament, right? E they catch that was your tournament, man. You should know who won it. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> you can't remember who won your tournament, the first tournament of the year. Hey, Danny, come on, Brian. I don't like your attitude. Well, you've eaten too much pizza or something, man. You need to start watching the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's another one. Of the hey, forget about the pepperoni and pay attention to people fishing. The channel, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You leave me and my pepperonis alone. <laughs> you better take some ginseng there, baby. <laughs> 
catch fish no, with us. I, I may be wrong. I think I think they're the ones that won your tournament, though. But uh, they did it with all channel cats, dude. You sure that wasn't catch fish with us? It was one of them catch fish people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was either think, catch fish with us or fish and not catching. I don't. It's one of them too. I I, you know what? I think you're. I think you're right. I think it was catch fish with us, but yeah, but they see, were see. weren't they in Sandusky catching channel cats though? I think. Yep. Cause fishing not catching, they fish here on the Potomac. Okay, that ain't them then. You're right. It's 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 a uh, catch fish with us. They were fishing, I think, Sandusky, and man, they were slamming. They got a bunch of weight off channel cats that night. Then they got like twenty one fish or something. Yeah. Total. See, I do remember. And you talking about you had me, me and my reminded. Pepper. Come on, man. <laughs> Pepper, pepperoni. I had to shake your head, get some, get that going in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh -oh. All right, fish home, baby. Squirrel hooked up. <coughs> Another baby channel. Fish is a fish. It is a fish. About the same size as the other. Like Freddie is hooked up. He's getting them in the net. It's in the net. He's still holding up to his little fish name. Hey, tell them people right there with that pontoon boat, let me come get that. It's a nice looking boat. I tore the scale. I can't see it, it's a glare. 1.58, got you. Put you on the board right now. All right, come on, Blues. <laughs> Freddy's fish was 5.18. Jody ain't caught no fish. I thought she caught a fish. Why is this doing that? I don't need it to do that. There we go. I messed up the sheet. Somebody probably going to look on there and say, hey, somebody messing with the sheet. <laughs> Josh Thompson said, go Freddie FOA bank. I don't know what that is he got on this hook for bait. It doesn't look good. Got the drift sock out. Got the drift sock out. We're going to parachute back. I 
that's what I'm gonna try to do once I get back out there. Drop that trolling motor down and start dragging some baits. Cover some area. Getting that channel and just go. Sit back and watch the rods and wait for them to bend down and get me a hundred and sixty-seven pound fish. They will never hear the end of it. Come on, man. Catch a fish sitting there looking all crazy. Hey, Chris, did you drive all the way down here to the Potomac? You was moving for a long, long time. Which Chris? <laughs> you. Well... <laughs> My, the, my partner is an older gentleman mm -hmm. and has to take a lot of bathroom breaks. So he had to hold, he had to get off and hold the tree. He had to, well, yeah, he filled up two buckets. <laughs> one, we thought it was a one bucket trip, it turned out to be a two bucket trip. <laughs> that sounds about right. When nature calls. Josh Thompson said he's working hard to get this bathroom done. Can't have a food license without a bathroom. Yeah, they go hand in hand. Ask Howard. He had a uh, egg McMuffin this morning. See, he had the. He did. He had a chicken. He had a chicken sandwich. He had a chicken biscuit. Yeah, to put him over the edge. <laughs> if he ain't doing that, he's, he's peeing. It's a problem with the old, having old people. <laughs> He's like a pregnant woman. Man, when you're fishing with an old dude, he just don't. He, he, he might well, have really a, that you might have an eight-hour trip, but you're only gonna fish four hours. <laughs> you know they got the pans. Throw you a pack on the boat, Chris. He be good. No, nah, we're good. <laughs> The only thing on here that depends is whether we catch a fish or not. That's all this thing. <laughs> I'm going to hey. up and try a new location. Okay. Josh Thompson said they'll have breakfast and deli sandwiches. Don't do like Jody and have a bad bologna. Daryl would love it. <laughs> Sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. That's right up my alley, right there. Can't believe I let time slip away and couldn't didn't order my Burger King this morning. Steak, egg, and cheese. Oh, man. Making me hungry. Hungrier. I swear, if we don't catch that, that one is about to drop. He's crazy. Pull down. Let's go. Pull down. Let's go. Pull down. Freddie was in here early. He said to let, let, you, let you know that you be capping. Uh-oh. I can cap him? You be capping. Oh, I be capping. Yep. Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't <laughs> <laughs> hey, ask Freddie if he's caught any fish. Yeah, he just caught a five pounder. Sounds about right. <laughs> tell him tell him we'll send him a decal. <laughs> <laughs> Use code milk. Oh, <laughs> uh. Chocolate milk. I don't see them in nobody's chat right now. Tell Freddie we let a five pounder go. Is he fishing from the bank? Yeah, he on the bank. I'll tell you what, it ain't pretty out. It's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. 
It's really rough up here. We lost a big one in a, in a spot, but it was so windy. It's impossible to know what you, whether you catch something or not. We didn't know until it was under the boat. When you finish with that boat, rinse it off, clean it up real good, and um, get all your stuff off of it and put it put it in my driveway. You might have to fight Howard. Just don't tell him. Well, he can hear you. He said, I like steel. He said, I like steel. <laughs> <laughs> And come on, uh, we got, we have an open door policy. You can walk in, you might not walk out. Tell him, tell him you gave it to your buddy. Yeah, if the, if the, if the <laughs> whew, Howard, you playing that banjo music? <laughs> yeah. If the we if the dogs don't get you, our toothless cousin will. <laughs> I'm the toothless cousin. <laughs> Back there hollering. <laughs> you will never, you will never break into. We got the whole breaking and entering thing solved. You can come over and <laughs> our house, and the toothless cousin gets you. You will never break into anybody's house again. <laughs> never. Unless you're into that sort of thing. That sounds scary. Yeah. Fishing not catching on another one. They've been on some fish. Send them this way. Danny down there talking. He ain't going to know when his rod go down. I'm gonna need me something to eat after this and a nap. We're gonna catch one here in a minute. Look, I just said that we're gonna catch one here in a minute. Oh, Come yeah, on. I see it. Where y'all at, though? Howard, you're fired. <laughs> That's the one we needed right there. False alarm. False alarm, people. Told y'all Chris be capping. <laughs> I caught hey, look, I called him. <laughs> I did my job. I didn't, you know, the hookup part was different. Two hundred and ninety-one dollars and forty-seven cent donated so far. If you are able to contribute, the PayPal link is pinned to the top of the chat. <laughs> the life of a live streamer.
this is for our vets. This, this is for the vets. Wait, that. That's Chris. I got on mute. It. That win with Tony had ain't let up since we started. Treacherous. Now pass Big Mike. See if you wake up the fish. Stir the fish up. Oh, that's JG with the win. I got that on mute. Here we go. Like Dominic out on the boat today. Out on the boat. Man, I'll trade my last two Reese's Cups for a two-pound channel cat right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little melted, but, you know, they're still good. <laughs> I see the, uh, you seen that commercial with a freezer? It's filled with Reese's Cups? Yeah. I said, man. I wouldn't mind having that freezer. <laughs> I tried to eat one of them all ago. Y'all know it. I had to walk in the truck and get some baby wipes, man. I look like a little kid eating spaghetti. I had it all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I spotted chocolate everywhere. I think I got something behind my ears. <laughs> oh, man. Two Reese cups for a three pound channel cat. Yeah. Even trade, no boot. Go down there and talk to Matt. He might be able to hook you up. He ain't catching nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm close enough. If he catches a fish, I'm going to be the first one to know it that ain't him. <laughs> I'll know it before Paul Meadow and them will. If you push him off camera, take his fish and run back up the hill. That's what I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> don't think the thought ain't crossed my mind. If he catches a fish, I'm going to run there and snatch it and say, dude, that was on my hook and you real did. You crossed my line. That's my fish. <laughs> <laughs> you reeled in my rod. <laughs> There's one thing I don't miss with the, uh, bank fishing when you out there and a couple people out there and juggle them out of cast. Between that and breaking breaking your line, I mean breaking off, getting snagged up. Oh yeah. It's very rare that we get snagged up on that boat. Yo, it's, yeah, it, and you know what? It's really scary when you do hook into a big fish on the bank, because in the boat, you know, if you have to, you can you can pull anchor and chase after that fish. Yeah. Here, yeah, it's just you trying to get him to come someplace he don't want to go. Right. Dude, when I caught that 88, 
I was about to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I know we went to the tackle store when we first started. We used to go to the tackle store at least twice a week. Weights and hooks. Weights and hooks. Yep. Well, you sacrifice way more gear on the bank than you do on a boat. Oh, well, yeah. And we kept going back to the same spot that we know we get snagged up on. But it was a big possibility of catching a good fish. I will say, if Mississippi River ever did dry up, I'd be a multi-millionaire because I'd go down there where me and Richard and everybody fish, and I'd pick <laughs> up a fortune in sinkers. <laughs> you can open up a wake stove. I'd break the axle on my truck, haul them out of there. Yeah. We got one spot. It's a uh, it's a wire that runs from one end to the other end of the river. And if you don't know where it's at, you in trouble, dude. If you got some scuba gear, it almost paid for itself. If you went down there and started picking all that crap up, yeah, I couldn't go that. The current right there, where that spot is. <laughs> I'll go down there, but I ain't coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whirlpool right there. And then it's deep. It's like 110 feet. You go down and find all them weights and you grab a hold of them. You're so excited. You don't want to let go of them and you figure you can't come up because you got too much weight. You ever see that little kid that got his hand stuck in the candy machine? <laughs> and they called the uh, rescue people, and, uh, and they couldn't get his hand out. And finally, one guy says, "Son, let go of the candy bar." And he let go right. of the candy bar, pulled his hand out. <laughs> 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 he wasn't gonna let go of that candy bar. Couldn't get his hand out. He said, "That's defeating the purpose." <laughs> oh, we got wind starting to pick up here now. Hopefully it's leaving us and going down there with y'all. Guess that wind bringing that warm weather this way, so that's good. You know oh, man, I don't even have. EB, what's up? I ain't had a chat. Oh, Chad in here talking trash. Appreciate you, EB, new member. Chad said, every angler on fields to water has caught fish. Just saying. Y'all gonna let Chad talk trash like that? I ain't worried about Chad. Let's see. Let me go over here, though. Let me go over here and see. Kevin it's that last Chad. hour comeback that we make him cry. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I went there and talked to Richard and Matt and said, I mean, you guys want to try to move or whatever? Dude, man, we are relaxed and chill. And they said, you know what? If we don't catch nothing, we don't catch nothing. I ain't going nowhere. I'm just going to sit here and chill out. There you go. It is what it is. Pretty much. Yeah, Chad. Chad team does have. He got one, two... He got three anglers with 50 pounds. Uh, two. Well, that's the thing. Yet. You know, it's still early on. It ain't time for me to make my move yet. You know what I'm saying? We get into the tournaments later on in the year, and uh, that, that's, when, that's when I'm going to pull out all the stops and really get serious. Oh, yeah. Ain't nobody worried about Chad. He catching the yeah, same I'm thing. I'll let them all have fun at, at the beginning of the year and, and get their confidence up. They get overconfident, and then I swoop in at the last part of the year and do my <laughs> thing. We start getting the summertime in them nighttime tournaments. Yeah, it's going to be a different ball game then.
No, Brian, I know you got one tournament uh, that is a nighttime tournament. That I think it starts 6 o'clock your time. It's going to start 5 o'clock my time. I think that's on a Friday. A Friday. I think the Wheel of Fortune. I think it's on Saturday, though. The Friday tournament. Okay, as long as it's Saturday, I'm good. But I thought you had – somebody's got a tournament on a Friday afternoon that starts early. I'll be late for that one because I'll still be at work when you guys start. But don't worry. I hear you, Danny. Same here. Yeah, I know uh, there's at least one tournament that starts on a Friday, but it starts before I get off work. What up? What up? Mr. Jones, how you doing there, buddy? <laughs> I think the Midnight Madness is on a Friday. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, it that's starts one. 6 o'clock your time, but that's 5 o'clock my time. No, it don't start at no 6 o'clock. What time does it start? Midnight. <laughs> oh, I thought you were running to midnight. <laughs> no. It's from like midnight to 5. Oh, midnight. I like that. Midnight to five or midnight to six in the morning. That's the only that's one the I hours, do on a Friday. I get my most stupid. I get my stupid turned on at that time of day or night. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have fun on that one. Yeah, that's at midnight. The Iron Cat. Well, no, that's a Saturday. Um. The Wheel of Fortune is at six, but that's on a Friday. I mean, a Saturday. The holiday one, that might be. Let's see. No, that's on a Saturday, too. So, yeah, the Midnight Madness is on a Friday night, but it starts at midnight. I'm going to need me two naps before that one. Maybe two naps. Woo. Need me a nap now. Chris don't catch a fish, catfish Chris, if you don't catch a fish in the next 45 minutes, he just messaged me and told me that he's going to bring that boat and put it in my garage because he doesn't deserve it. That must that must not be the boat he had on that track of trailer then. What'd you say, Chris? That we just threw one back two minutes ago. Well, I ain't see that. Well, hell, he was only like three or four pounds. <laughs> that ain't gonna help much. Hey, you know this guy right here? Who was it? No, I never heard of him. <laughs> Now Danny over there picking picking in the uh picking in the grass for worms. He about to start throwing worms out. Hey, if I do this work, <laughs> I'll pick it I'll go over and flip a log over in the woods, catch a mouse, throw it on her if I have to. <laughs> Not a mouse. <laughs> Talk about desperate measures. <laughs> Man. Talk about a show that I ain't watch yet.
Brian. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? I hear that. Can't hear you going in and out. <laughs> That's it. I do that all the time. <laughs> You know what? When I stand in front of the camera like that, I can't stay here long because I'm sucking my gut in and I can't breathe. I have to get behind the camera running. Oh. <laughs> Fields to Water anglers have six of the top ten places today. Just saying. Shut it, Chad. <laughs> well, this they set that up, man. This is his. Uh, this is his tournament, ain't it? Yep. Well, of course they've got that arranged already. You know that everything, none of this is real. Oh, yeah. They all got uh, they all got green screens behind their behind their seals. Yep. That's why it's so terrible today. Yep. Yeah, they were showing their night how they use that green screen where they act like they're fishing. They're actually in the house. All right. Here go the score sheet. Let's see. Let's share the sheet out so everybody can see where everybody at. Where is it? Right here. Boom. 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 Let's go to the... Let's see. Number one, you got my bad dude. One fish. 59.12 pounds. Number two, Trophy Seeker. They got four fish for 53.88. Number three, you got Parker Pursuit with two fish, 52.32. Catfish Hunter TV got four fish for 50.60 pounds. Fifth place is Catfish Chris. Got two fish for 39.02 pounds. Stand three got three fish, 29.24. Big Mike's seventh place, two fish, 28.23. Number eight, fishing not catching. They got 16 fish for 24.86 pounds. Nine is cool cats, one fish, 19.71 pounds. 10 is Smoky Mountain Fishing. They got one fish for 17.92. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, birds the word. And one of the Daddy. things I'm waiting to see is if uh, if the total weight of fish caught on this tournament is higher than the total weight of fish caught on the Uno tournament. Hey, 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 hey. No, I'm just saying, hey, dude, during the Uno tournament, it was a tough bite, dude. For, for the amount of fish that was pulled in, that was good. That bite was tough that night. It ain't as tough as it is for me right now, but it was tough. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> That's what it is, see? Look here. When I go on Brian B's channel, yeah, I caught a fish. I caught the first fish on Brian B's channel that day. I go on Chad's channel, I don't catch nothing. <laughs> but Chad's tournament, I don't catch nothing on Chad's tournament. Yep, and this Chad's tournament. Yeah. I need a bribe bee tournament where I can get at least one fish and be done. <laughs> yeah, at least. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. 
I'm going to bring that up in the next meeting. I think somebody peed in the water here or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this together. We're going to get it together. We need to, where, oh, here you go. I was to say, where did my tea go? This job was in the refrigerator. Man. Almost froze up on me. Oh man, I need to go fishing. I need to go fishing. Well, don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Got a point there, buddy. Now, our river's starting to get settled down. It's going to get back to normal here for so long. What do you want, Chris? I'm in a current tournament, bank fishing for catfish tournament online. Terry Rose. Got to stop at some point and cast the line. Yeah. We used to do them. Do them tournaments. Last one I did, it was 100 degrees below zero. The river was frozen. We stayed out there to the end of the tournament and didn't catch squat all day. I think we was out from like 7 in the morning to midnight. Didn't catch a nothing. Didn't catch nothing. We have a new sponsor. Right, yeah. They was on here, they making a move. Then they'll come back. I see Stan just said we have a new Don't keep me in suspense. You know something. Kevin just sent it to me, so I'll make it official for you guys. Bingo. Y'all might want to hear this. No, we probably don't. Let, <coughs> let me uh bring it over to my computer, and then I'll show y'all on the screen. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome. That is freaking awesome. Okay, download it. Second, give me a second, give me a second. Everybody's right. crowding around the phone so they can see what, what's going on. Here we go. Let me see if I can share. Oh, I had to add it to my brand. 
It's not a video clip. It's overlay. <laughs> Matt just walked by, see, taking his toys and going home. He can't even catch a dink here. <laughs> here we go. This should upload. Now, here you go, y'all. We have a new sponsor, which is Hooks and Hammocks. A thousand dollar sponsor. Wow. Holy cow, cool. dude. That's so, awesome, dude. what that does is that brings the first place prize up to 2300 Second place, $1,050. And third place, $650. Man, that's nice. I won't see none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize that they did put this on here. So I'll show this. Let me see. This is the last. Well, not this. This is not the last day. But here we go. Somebody did jump there. But this is the Iron Cat. These are the people that's currently in it. So if y'all don't see y'all names and y'all want in it, email me, Chad or Kevin or Sam. Yeah, they got till uh, next Saturday to enter that, right? Correct. And they go to Towels. That is the official towel of the Live Fishing Tournament League. <laughs> oh, I need to get one of those. FOACustomsandgear.com. And there go the cups. And right now, the current big fish is Parker Pursuit at 62.31 pounds. Blue cat. Well, you know, I love him to death, man. That's my Parker. You know that. Jerry Parker is. But I just... Uh, there, there, man, I don't think that's going to hold up. No way it's going to hold up. Now, the guy that's going to beat it's probably going to be Parker, but it's not going to hold up. <laughs> uh, what's up, Steve Mosley? Steve <laughs> Mosley said, I just paid $1,250 to Uncle Sam. Did that count for anything? <laughs> Well, I mean, at least you, some people don't have it to pay it. So at least you were able to do that. Fish count, please. Let's go to the board. Here is the total. The whole shebang. First place, my bad dude, 59.12. Second place, Trophy Seekers, 53.88. Third place, Parker Pursuit, 52.32. Fourth place, Catfish Hunters TV with 50.60. Fifth place is Catfish Clothing, 39.02. Sixth place, Stand 3, 29.24. Seventh place is Big Mike with 28.23. Eighth place, fishing not catching, twenty four point eight six. Ninth place, cool cats, nineteen point seven one. Tenth place, Smoky Mountain fishing, with seventeen point nine two. Eleventh place is Northern View Outdoor, seventeen point five four. Twelfth is Mac fishing with sixteen point eight seven. Then we got a thirteenth. 14. He goes 13. He goes for skipjack fishing. <laughs> <laughs> 13 points. No. Thir yes, 13th is 7.66. 14th, FOA 5.18. 15th is. I just seen it. Squirrel with 3.34. Those are the standings right now. And somebody's in the basement. Boop. Got him in. 
Thank you so much, Chris and Telly, for believing in the Live Fishing Tournament League and making that awesome donation to be a sponsor. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Absolutely. So with the with the price going up on first place, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop hosting the tournaments and I'm gonna start fishing all of them so I can go get the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh put my resignation paper in uh our group chat and let Chad and uh Kevin know that I will not be uh Posting anymore. It'll probably be all kinds of words said to me if I did that. <laughs> they probably take my tournaments off. What do you think, Danny? You gonna you gonna host them? I ain't hosting nothing. That'd be a train wreck. <laughs> you host them, I fish them. They'd be like, what happened? To, somebody kicked everybody off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the wrong button again. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to. I try to host a tournament. You guys have a petition in no time banning me from that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be never fun. again. I think it will be hilarious. Hey, updates. What are you talking about? Ain't no updates. Ain't no updates. A fish start chumming this water with these Reese's cups. No charming, Danny. It's in Kevin's rule book. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I just spit it out because it was bad, and it went in the water. Oh, man. I don't think Chum is do you any good here. I think these fish are already full. They might be. There's so much bait in here, dude. Yeah, that's now, there's a bat. skipjack, that's a white problem. bass. They're just piled up in here. Well, why is my chat all the way? Okay, here you go. I was just saying, the chat went uh, to the top for some reason. All right. What I'm doing ain't working. <laughs> Do something different. Do something different. Let's have a little quick video for our sponsors. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Round. Oh! oh yeah. Get your weight up, baby! FOA! All the way! FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www. FOA Customs and Gear dot com. Yes, yes. FOA. You can use code BDC10. Get 10% off. You can also go to catfishclothing.com and use BB Fishing. Get you 20% off. You got some new hoodies in. 
Oh, you can go on there, go over there, and check out the uh, custom designs you can do for your own hats, jerseys, for the jerseys and hoodies and stuff. That's going to be www.model2design.app. Where is looking for something? Looking for something. Guess we'll have another video coming this week. I'm looking for something and I can't find it. What's up, Duggar? Mr. Duggar Fishing in here. What's happening, buddy? Oh, I can't find it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there it goes. Bam. There we go. All right. Whew. I can't multitask. I don't know what it is. Maybe I can get enough sleep or something. Forgetting my words earlier. I'm going to blame that on Danny. I'll take it. Somebody got to get the blame. Hey, man. I, I got you back. <laughs> I got some chicken upstairs. When this is over, woo! Hey, Chris, and I got my hot sauce to go with my fried chicken. You got that hot sauce for my burrito? Yep. Baby. So good to me. I made me some fried chicken and some... Honey barbecue chicken last night. You got to smother this in that text. That's kind of burned it. You said what? I said you got to bury it in that text. Take it out, fry it, put it in, soak it in the text feet, put it back in and fry it again. Woo. I fried it, put it in the barbecue sauce, then threw it in the oven. Like you get it from uh them honey barbecue wings from uh KFC. What's going on in here? Chan said that the anglers fishing on Brian B channel are just like Brian. They can't fish worth a lick. What? Oh, yeah. No, he didn't. I wish I could jump on his live stream. What is there a way you could do that? <laughs> Chan just jealous. Oh, he reaching for the net. He reaching for the net.
We'll be smacked up. That Daryl hooked up? Nah, look like Tony might be hooked up or smagged up. False alarm. He did a Chris. What up, Daryl? He slip. He had six of the top ten anglers today, and most fish. Yada yada yada. Yeah, he's not doing anything though. If he took all his fish that he caught this week. And put it on the sheet. He would still be in 16th place. <laughs> we, can't hear we can't hear from the shrimp. Right around the corner, we have a heck of a shrimp fry. You said a shrimp fry? Yeah, that's where we're going. As soon as, that's why we came here. We went for the shrimp. Can you bring me some? No, we will not. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> if you send me pictures, <laughs> if you send me pictures, some freaking shrimp. Yep. We'll get pictures of shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. There's a seafood place right on the corner. Right around the corner. I'm going to block you. You will not. <laughs> Remember, I have something against you. You have something to get you don't like me? Remember I have something. You didn't like me. I always I have, a, I have a picture. <laughs> uh -oh. They say how did Tony get a, a, a camera on Gilligan's Island? <laughs> He called me lunchbox. <laughs> I'm playing on my phone. <laughs> uh, I got I got some personal business to <laughs> Where Tony at? It is rocking and rolling over there. That wind is whipping. Been whipping all day. There you go. There you go. Get him, Howard. Get him, Howard. Get him, Howard. <laughs> we need this one. <laughs> all right. Y'all got him? Y'all see him? Look at, look at, look at yep. that form. Look at the form, y'all. Howard has the form. You trying to talk to somebody in the corner? Look at the form. It ain't a good one. It's another little small fish. <laughs> He's a little puppy. We're going to give him some love and put him back. They put the rod down for somebody to pull that You want me to come to the middle? This chair leans back this far. It'll go all the way to the floor if you lean back far enough. Hey, I leaned back good enough and I had to grab this desk before I fell backwards. <laughs> Y'all was going to hear a gung a lung a lung. <laughs> It'd be like that time Lee Evans leaned back and started screaming, oh dear Lord, that chair snapped in about six pieces. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Bone to pick with you. Right, yeah, we'll go ahead and pick it right now. Why you 
Hey, how? Why you ain't tell me about the baby shower Chris had? What is it? <laughs> Why you ain't invite me to your baby shower? Baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> when are you due? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the only baby shower you ever been to that had an open bar. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at him, uh, Danny. I see him. Be at least seven months. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was my reflection in the phone there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 regulator said he thought you was hands before you turned around. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that name around me. Oh man. Stan said, I'm here for the baby shower. Where's the bar? What about it? 11 18. 11 18. 3.4. Gotcha. Woohoo! <laughs> I see that thing does lock. <laughs> oh, man. Phone. I mean, I did it on my phone. Live in 18. <laughs> on the sheet. Uh-oh. Couldn't find you on the sheet. Boom. Oh, let's see here. Let's, what's up, LG? Now I need to go over here. Too funny. Too funny. Now somebody's making memes, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. How can 
a video file. Oh. Gotcha. Let's see. Everybody in here except for Terry. We all credit. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Yes, sir. What's up, Steve? Painting service by Steve. Appreciate the Mountain Dew, buddy. Is something you needed, Brad? You uh -oh. like Got some river slow. Uh oh, somebody just jumped out. You good, JG? Somebody got well. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So look, that brings Let's see, did that move, Chris? Nope. You're still in fifth place, buddy. And Catfish Hunter TV just stole first place. Yes. I can't hear you. My back is going to be killing me. Now, are you going to come rub my back tonight? <laughs> Is it gonna be hot oil and then stones and stuff? God, I love you. I try. I've been trying to train Brian to do it. He just he does it, but he doesn't wear the bare hands. He always puts gloves on. Come on, Brian. Come on, boy. Like this. I tell you what. Don't put me in it. Right, it's not nope. out here. We're sharing what, uh, Stan? What are you talking about? About uh, Chris and the baby shower? We had to find a date. I had one on the James River, I had one on the Potomac River. <laughs> Stan's not Because you know he loves his Potomac River friends. <laughs> hey, you know what we need to do? I got another one to share, Chris, but I got to upload it. Right on top of me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look good at it. And that was right on top of me. 
Yeah. You want me to cast it for you? I'll take all three of them right on. Leave it like that. Yep, it's like that again. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. This is this hole right here. I'm missing the hole. Is that <laughs> Somebody, yeah. uh huh. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm about ready to come out of this club. <laughs> Game on, Brian. <laughs> Shane did it. <laughs> I need to get I need to get this picture. I don't know. His new single? His photo shoot? You seen Chris photo shoot? Hey Brian. Thursday hey. night Chris did a photo shoot after the bait shop. Hey Brian. Yo. Go to the go to the group chat. I'm in the group chat. Yeah, go back. <laughs> he removed me from the group. <laughs> ah. That's all right. I got you. Okay. <clears throat> I got you, Tony. <laughs> All right, you and you. Let me check. <laughs> Petty joking in. <laughs> right. That's why you about to be you about to be famous, famous. <laughs> Somebody already shared it out. The people want to know. What? Oh, man. Tony catch this fish. Rebel River Cats got the stuff going live with Spring Lake. Nothing to write home about, but it's on the Dang. bank. Fish is a fish. I was here. <laughs> See what you got. 
can see the damn thing. All right. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think it's working anymore. Uh oh. Let's see. Turn it off. Back on. Units, pounds. Okay. They ain't want to know when the rescue boat is coming to get you. He said you're on Gilligan's Island. Homemade barbecue loaf. Ain't no wrong with a good meatloaf. If I could just get a dive in the mouth. Okay. 2.74. 2.74. No grips. Gotcha. No grips, no sling. Congratulations, you, you are now on the hand. board. That's a movie up to about third place. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Josh, I'm already hungry. Tony with that win. There you go. There we go. Yeah, you're definitely not helping. <laughs> And the block. How are we caught bait bigger than that? Caught this little I'll wait for Danny to come back before I share the photo shoot. We got what about an hour and twenty nine minutes. Time to get on the monsters. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. <laughs> I 
How about a bologna burger? Bologna burger? Huh? I went 43 minutes. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I, I'm looking at the clock wrong. <laughs> I'm looking at the uh <laughs> how long we've been live and <laughs> that was brain fart. Did you go steal his fish, Danny? No. <laughs> uh, I just checked see if they had anything going on. Richard had a pretty decent takedown while ago that didn't hook up. You know, he drove all the way up from Arkansas, man. I mean, kind of, it, it don't matter if we're fishing against each other or not, you know. I'm going to go down there and hang out and check on him, you know. And, and if, uh, if we can figure out anything where he can get on a fish, I'm going to help him out, dude. I mean, when you got somebody come visit, you got to be courteous. You know what I mean? Heck yeah. You know, tournament's tournament, but you know, when it comes down to it, friendship comes first. Really, all the advice I can give him right now is just don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Brian, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I think I got a fish on. Uh oh. I had to switch the camera because I took the rod to the back of the boat. Can you see right here? Hold on, I'm about to pull you up. Never know. I really roll in. No. Yes, yeah, Stan. It's on the main sheet. When I went to go look at the scores before the totals, it was it was gone. Half of it was gone. But went over on uh, my sheet, I had it. Baltimore. Baltimore. False alarm. That somebody had on shorts. Oh, that was Bob and for Shizzle. Where, where I? They can't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I ain't. It ain't like I've been messing with the sheet a lot. <laughs> so I ain't, I ain't even been over there. Only time I go over there to share, share the school. <laughs> this boy customs and here. I want to. An order yesterday, and I have not received a tracking number yet. Where's my order at? <coughs> uh -huh. Who 
Calling Freddie, messing with Freddie. It's necessary that I get my SOA order tomorrow because I plan on missing. What's up, Stuart? I thought so. Look what he's done, did now. What well, are you kidding me? <laughs> I gotta be cool and get the <laughs> hey dude i'm gonna snag a carp you want half of it yeah. all right i'm gonna go back here I'll, I'll i'll snag us a carp and i'll bring you half of it i'll be there in a little bit all right let me catch a carp i'll give him some of it. i'll be back he gonna go snag a carp y'all think he's gonna get it What's up, Ernie Brown? The incredible bulk. What up? Almost used the gun and oil spray instead of the pan spray on the pan. Oh, wow. <laughs> Danny should have turned his camera so we could have seen him snag a car. <sighs> Made breakfast, did dishes, went out, cleaned tomato spot off the unloaded car to jobs in the garage. Made a wrap and now I'm resting. Yeah, I got a tree with uh some daggone bees. <clears throat> I've got a nest in there. So I'm chopping that tree down. It's right there in the garage too, so I don't need them flying up in there while I might be taking a snooze or something. And get me. I ain't made nothing lately, Ernie. Catfishing dreams. What's up, buddy? Michael Williams, what's happening? Now take your time, Ernie, take your time. Well, that took one throw and two pulls. Oh, man. <laughs> Threw it out there, second jerk, had him. Wow. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this off for me, and I'll take the rest of it down to Matt and Richard. All right. Pulling wire in the boat. Dang factory wine is craptacular. <laughs> Dude, that's <I> next <snacks> car. <laughs> Y'all say he wants to snag car. Oh. 
still missing somebody. Terry Rose is missing. I know they were going to make a uh, move. <coughs> Excuse me. Ernie, I dealt with one of them. <coughs> I did that at uh, work. Had to um, get somebody's house clean because they didn't do it. And uh, they didn't pay their fine. So we had the contractors go clean their house. And in their driveway, they had at least, I would say at least 50 boxes. They were throwing them in the dumpster on the back of the uh, truck. And they end up waking one of them boxes up and them bees start flying around. Needless to say, we called that and just went on and left. We told them they got about 48 hours to get them removed. Yeah, if you like bloody bait, that's the way to go right there. There you go. Uh, we're going to make a special delivery. We'll be right back. Gotcha. Yo, JG, you good? Yeah, I was trying to find myself on the screen there. Oh, okay. Killing me, Josh. Kill me. <laughs> Wish we had some water to fish in. <laughs> wow, two fifty for three pounds of bees and a queen. That's what the guy was saying. Oh, if y'all come back, when you come back to check the yard, make sure that I removed all the boxes and stuff. Is it okay if I give you a jar of honey? I said, nope, we're not allowed to take anything from nobody. Said, what if I just left it on the curb and you seen it and just, you know. I said, nope. Can't do it, buddy. Hey, baby. Yo. Got enough. Came off. Yeah. Dude, I went down there and popped up in front of their camera. They ran me off. They said, you're on the wrong channel, man. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny Stone, that was your channel. I'm going to reach you There you go. There you go. Big Mike is spinning, spinning. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh? Oh, yeah. There you go. Ah, it'd be too easy. Yeah. 
watered it. There we go. All right, we got the score back. Hold on, they're working on the um, sheet. We had a uh, malfunction with the sheet. Just need to expand it a little bit, and we'll be good to go. I'm looking, watching them now. He's fixing it. Oh, that one is wide open. Let me see. <laughs> so squirrel, I can't see squirrels and can't see Chris at the end of the sheet. I'm right here. Can you see me? No, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about on the sheet. I know. I'm just busting your chops. Just having a little fun with you, Brian B. Ain't oh, okay. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't catching any fish, man. I'm having a little fun. I ain't know if you were saying. There we go. Look like Chad is fixing it now. Look like it might be fixed. Let me go here and look. Nope. Well, you can't get no fresher than that. The meat's still quivering. Now we cook it. Can you see me now? Give me one second, y'all, so I can get this sheet straight. Everybody in, everybody ain't nobody drop. Right. Let me share the screen with the scores. Here we go. This is the standings right now. First place, my bad dude with 98.22 pounds. Second place, Catfish Hunters TV with 64.78. Third place, Trophy Seekers. 53.88, fourth place, Park of Pursuit with 52.32. Fifth place is Catfish Chris at 47.14. Sixth place is Cool Cat with 29.43. Seventh place is Stan 3. Eighth place is Big Mike, 28.2. Ninth place is Fishing Not Catching with 24.86. Tenth place, Smoky Mountain Fishing. Eleventh place is Northern View Outdoors with 17.54. We had 12. Somebody went whipping. Fish on, Brian. All right. 
Mac Fisher was 12th place, 16.87. 766 for Greenwell in 13th. FOA in 14th. Squirrel in 15th. Tony Harrison in 16th. Yeah, come on, JG. Uh, can you hear me? Brian, can yep. you hear me? Yep, I got you. I got I got a fish on. I think I got two on. I got one running up current. Uh oh. This is a good fish here. I don't know how my camera angle is, dude. I can't tell. We got you, we can see. Okay. Yeah, that's a good angle, man. The Benz of Steel video is really paying off. You the man, Dan. <coughs> can you get down on your knees? We can see a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's messing with you, JG. You're doing fine. <laughs> that's a nice jacket you got on there. Got something there. He's fighting. Said it feel like a good fish. <coughs> Said it feels like a good one. See if I can do a, a, a JG impression. It's a good fish there. It's on. It's in the boat. Where'd he, fall out of the boat? Where'd he go? He really did get down on his knees. Well, there I is. got it in the boat, but I got another fish on. That other oh, rod was bent. Well, let's just wear it one at a time. Don't worry about that other one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think I do. Wow, this is crazy. The wind's blowing me back harder than my trolling motor's pulling and getting my lines tangled up. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's crazy here. Hang on. Let me hey. get this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this fish dealt with I got in the boat here and get him weighed. I'll flip this camera around, and then I'll deal with all this mess I got here. Because I got a hell of a mess here. Gotcha. Let me get this flipped around. Come on, boat. There you go. Uh, he, uh, Josh, I don't think so. Quit all that walking around shit. I don't think so. I think one person said they wasn't able to fish. But I can't remember. 
Ah, he ain't cooperating at all. Yeah, I think uh, Ben Wall had to drop out because the wind was so bad where they were at. Okay. Yeah, and they just bought that new boat. Uh, and uh, they did the smart thing because they're still learning that boat. And, oh, yeah. uh, you know, for you to go out in those kind of conditions on a boat that you're still figuring out, that just that shows you, dude, they did the absolute smart thing to do is, is, to, oh, yeah. is to not push your luck. Nope. Safety first. I don't care what nobody say. What? <clears throat> Where he at? I don't see him, say. What did they take him off? Somebody's going in and out. Well, there's somebody in the basement. No, everybody's here. Do they keep talking? Probably got wet. Hey, Brian, can you see this? 9.30? Oh. Did you uh, hold it so that uh, the, in a, in a lock-in, hold the tear button so that the, the lock will come on? I tried it, and it's not working. It's uh coming in like 10.4, 10.5. Can you see it? I need to get this phone in a different place. I can uh, barely see it. It's like a glare on the screen. Uh-oh. Well, it's got that rubber on it. I don't know how to take the fish off. And, and uh... Is anyone close? Uh, no info for Kevin Fishes? Anthony J or Lisa Burrito, can y'all please contact them? I mean, I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna set it down. Hold the tab button, and it should say if the hold is it should come up. It might take a second. It says a. Yeah, you yeah, hold the tab button down and keep holding it down. It it'll come up either H on or H off. 
If it comes on H on, then you let go of the tear button. If it comes up H off, let off of it and do it again until it says H on. I hit the H on, but it's still fluctuating. But you might have held it too long. It might have turned it back off. But what is as soon doing, as it Brian? says H on, let off that button. All right, hang on. Yeah, if you hold it too long, it'll turn it back off. Just hold the tear button down. The off. second that you see H on, let off of it. There's H on. Right, Unit is go. pound. It's still fluctuating. Brian, can you see it? Nah, it's too far away. It got a glare on it. Just tell me what it's what is what is uh going to. It's going 10.4, 10.5. Well just go 10.45. All right. I'm gonna put him back. Yeah, that sounds fair. Ten point four five. Yeah, he gonna dry out, lose a pound if you don't keep. It <laughs> <laughs> I know if I keep messing with him, he's gonna poop or something, man. But you didn't held him out so long, the wind uh, blew a half a pound off of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was fighting that scale. I just first time I've used it, so. But it is what it is. Well, when you get home with it, play with it, you'll figure it out. But it's all about that tear button, getting that thing to lock. It's about the tear button. It, it's tricky. But once you figure it out, it's not hard. Sorry about that, Brian. Yeah. What are you sorry for, dude? You got a fish. I'm sitting here with nothing. <laughs> hey, you know, my dad my daddy was in the boat right here. He'd be going, boy, sloppy fishing right there. Ain't you never weighed a fish before, boy? Yeah. Kevin Fisher is running over to the dance, I mean, to the uh, where Dominic is. <sighs> ben Wild Fishing, what's up? What's up? Did you check that other rod for the other fish? Yeah, I'm 
I'm uh, trying to get the boat straight. Oh, okay. I've got a bit. I've got a big tangled up mess here. <laughs> well, what happened was, is like, I'm I'm putting the trolling motor on a header, but I'm having to I'm having to feather the trolling motor because the wind's gusting from six to about anywhere from six to about thirteen knots, and it's blowing the boat backwards. Oh, and then, okay. and then the wind quit, and then the wind quits blowing, and then the boat's going too fast. All right, JG, can you repeat that one more time? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll get that right on that, Tony. Tony Tony's writing that down in his book of uh, what happened. Yeah, yeah. I thought I heard what, what had what, happened was something about a motor, and you pulled the, <laughs> you, you thought it was your trolling motor, but it was for your weed eater, and you yeah, pulled it, yeah. something like that. Yeah, I gotta go yeah, back and. Cool. Watch this we'll tape. Get, this is it. We'll get we'll get together. Four hours and fifty eight minutes. Uh, uh, Tony, you're gonna try to have that book ready by before the end of the year, right? The book that yeah, I'm uh, working on it was okay. Gotcha, Stuart. But I think that that I, all seriousness, Tony, you gotta write the book, man. Oh, I'm not kidding. He, he does. <laughs> yes, sir. I got a lot of pleasure butter coming out now. All right, we got to pay some respect to our sponsors. And then I got a funny one for y'all. I got a funny one for y'all. <laughs> Catsgear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cat's Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. Alrighty, so with that being said, we just want to give y'all a little snippet of uh, the craziness we got to deal with of being friends with Catfish Chris. Danny, are you looking? I'm looking. I'm probably going to regret it, but I'm looking. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Fish on. I'm still muted. Got you. Got you. Uh, sorry. Um, think positive. Think positive. I just called John Euler to check and see if Rusty was close by, but he said he don't think he's that close to it. But he's going to call. I think he got Captain Fisher's phone number, so he's going to call him. To check and see how far away is he. Fish on the bank. Fish on the bank. Man, it's too much work. <laughs> I had this Uncle Lou ride for about three or four years. It's still working well. Still working, huh? Still working. Ah. Wish I'd get another one. Can you not get one? I don't think he makes a spin anymore. Okay. How much time's left, Brian? You have approximately fifty-eight minutes. And and what's the total weight to win? Total weight what? to win? Yeah. I'm in a fishing tournament, so you only count. Number one spot is ninety-eight point two two pounds. Ninety-eight point two two is the number one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Sunday day, 50 mile down wind yesterday down the forties. Who gonna catch the next one? I say Danny Stone gonna catch the next one. He's due. He's definitely due. <laughs> well, he did snag a car. That's right. <laughs> but <laughs> this is not stand day, so carp don't count. <laughs> yeah, he'll uh, he'll have, he'll have to get up on stand day. <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> Dominic is safe. He 
his boat flipped. They found them, his boat flipped, and they are trying to get it turned back over. Who who's that? Dominic Hollis flipped his boat. That ain't good. Search and rescue went out. They found him and they just uh trying to get his boat flipped back over. He's safe. Thank goodness. Two point wow. six. Two point six. Sorry 6. to hear that. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, Dominic. Good to know. Good to know. <sighs> this is not good news. Oh, I remember that boat. Wasn't that one he got from his daddy? I don't know. He um, yeah, he talked about that boat before. He got he had another John boat, and then I, that one was in his family or something, and he got it. I think it was some. I think it was his daddy's boat or something. Hey, Chrissy. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, Martin came in and told us. Gotcha, Stan. Gotcha, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Come on, Danny. I said you're going to. Oh, Danny. Note to sell. If your planer boards are trying to pop out of the water, you're going too fast. Alrighty. Good to go, good to go, good to go. Squirrel, what your phone doing? Your phone keep going in circles. <laughs> I think it just leans a little bit and then it just swoops around. I say I got it. I can't. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. You real, real low. Can you hear me now? Sound a little better. <laughs> Is that sound good? Yeah. Don't mean to make you think. Nope, you like you real low.
Nhấn ra không? Nhấn be back. Hey Chris, you missed your photo shoot. Oh wow. It would they ain't worried about the material stuff. That didn't get back. Main thing is that he's safe. <coughs> Dominic ain't no small boy either. And I'm sure that water cold. He was up there on the Potomac. Gotcha, squirrel. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. I say I have to turn that phone vertical every once in a while. This thing, uh, it's say it'll charge. I don't see that lightning bolt. I'll turn that thing horizontal and you shut the camera off on me. Oh, wow. We're good. Wind's laid down finally. Here goes one for our sponsors. Two changes on that because we got Hooks and Hammock is a thousand dollar sponsor now, which ups the price for the winners. The twenty three hundred for first place, ten fifty for second, and six fifty for third. Greatly appreciate and shout out to them. Current big fish winner is so far. Parker Pursuits with a 62.31 pound blue cat caught last week. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, last year's tournament league, man, I came out of the gate hot, you know. I, I held the first place spot for, man, I think like one or two months. This year, I'm going to pace myself because those guys, once they figured it out, they just ran past me and I, I didn't see them with taillights. They're not doing that this year. I'm going to pace myself. I'm going to come on strong at the end of it. So I'm not worried about today. I'm just kind of chilling and letting them do their thing, let their confidence levels get up. And then I'm going to sneak in close to the end and tear them up. Sounds well, good, don't it? <laughs> honestly, man, you don't have no choice but this. Dude, but sit there and chill. You ain't catching nothing. <laughs> hey, man, you know it is about sitting out here hey. and having fun and uh, hey, hanging Brian. out with everybody. If hey, the fish Brian, comes, that... that's icing on the cake, baby. Hey, Brian, isn't that called sandbagging? That's what I'm doing. Sandbagging, yeah. I am. Well, Danny's the master. 
<laughs> oh, I do. If, if I could hit a fish in the head with a sandbag and drag him in right now, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Oh, Lord. Now, I'm just sitting down there talking to Richard. They're making plans already. So as soon as this is over, they're heading straight for the Chinese buffet. Heck, yeah. How much time's left, Brian? Uh, forty minutes. Forty minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm Thank gonna freshen up a couple of baits for what it's worth. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing right now. Chad well, is doing checking. Opening. He's opening huh? a box. Let's see what he's opening. I didn't see. Oh, he's just getting his. Ah, he's late. Somebody go let Chad know he's late. I'd have had my cup and my towel for a week. He's so late. Poor fella. So, Brian, I've, been, I've missed most of this. I may not, if, if we're not supposed to talk about it, let me know. But uh, what exactly is going on? Do they think that Dominic, Dominic rolled his boat or something? What's going on? Yeah, he flipped his boat. He good, though. He's uh he's safe. Um, he just lost. Of course, he lost the stuff, but that can be replaced. But do, do we know if he's all right though? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Okay. Search and rescue. Search and rescue we came did. out. We was talking about this last week, man. That's my biggest fear, man. You put me in panic mode when you tell me stuff like that, dude. I thought you was over here when we was talking about it. I talked to John Parker. He said, I mean, uh, John Orley, he said, he said he told him don't go out there because he know the water was rough today. Well, I mean, that's have... just a little job boat too, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Man, ain't no it's... way I put a job boat in below that dam. Right. I would have 10 years ago. I wouldn't now. Yep. I'm just glad he's okay. Right. Absolutely right, Joshua. 40 minutes for a chicken dinner. Feel bad for those wings.
<clears throat> JG making a move. Danny dropped that uh that rod right on down in the water. That didn't work. Got 20. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my math? My math ain't mathing. We got 36 minutes. 36 minutes? Send it all the way over, Danny. All the way over. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. My dog can cast that far. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to say it was an honor to fish with you all. I tried to make a big move last minute, and uh, it's not going to pay off for me. The winds fought me too hard, and uh, odors. So I, I appreciate it, and I enjoyed it every bit of it. I enjoyed listening to you guys still. No problem. All right, cool, man. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Yep, yep. He, he, he's got to work on that exit. Hang on. He's there. Hey, put that in the book, Tony. Yeah, what had happened was, and well, then happened get into was. all of that other. <laughs> he got to he, he some work. <laughs> he ain't finished. Yeah, tell him to come back. He's still here. <laughs> it's Barbecue chicken salad. <laughs> you need to be on the on the cooking channel. All they focus on is that's all I hear. I'm reading what Josh saying. He trying to he trying to get he trying to make me hungry. You need to, yep. Y'all need to start a cooking channel. You and and then add Mike Chavez for some spice. Nah, I don't want everybody to know my secrets. Shit. You're sick. <laughs> I don't like your attitude. Man, the fish is slow today. Holy cow. Jeez. I'm just going to go back to playing golf. What the hell with this fish? You said you want to play golf? Yeah, I said the hell with this fish. Let's go golfing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meet us at Top Golf, and we'll I go and we'll pay for everybody. <laughs> the hell with this fish. <laughs> yeah, we get an extra hundred points if we can hit it three hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rather bold. Bowling too, Chip. You can't go bowling. I, yeah, no, it's true. Walk I can't. Back, 
right now. You can't even go. <laughs> I, I just told Howard a little while ago. I said, I'm not even going to be able to get up tomorrow. That's my back sucks. Oh, man, it's going to be killing me tomorrow. You can be hurt. Shoot. Windy, windy everywhere. Yeah, that breeze finally made its way up here. I mean, it's not blowing hard, but uh, yeah, we got a little wind yeah, you, now. You're the only one that ain't got no wind. <laughs> well, I didn't have. I'm starting to pick up a little bit now. So. Well, by the time it in, you'd be like, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Put in your fresh baits. Don't chum. Don't not chum the water. It's not legal. I got Kevin on both channels. I mean, both streams. That's how, when I've been changing my baits, I've even been throwing the, the old baits on the ground right there in front of the rods. But uh, am I thinking if they wouldn't buy it when I threw it out there, why would they buy it if I throw it? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't buy it when it was on the hook. They ain't gonna buy it when I throw it out there anyway. They go, we don't want that crap. Josh Thompson said two stains didn't fish because he afraid of the his the pins blowing off. <laughs> Two stands don't have to fish. All he's got to do is let three stands win the trophy and he puts it in his house. Right. <laughs> I mean, why would you go through all that work when you get the trophies and the belts and the medals all, you, you get them anyway. You don't even have to do nothing. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not dogging him out, man. I mean, that's, he's probably smarter than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, look at my trophy, and I didn't have to do nothing. <laughs> right. Y'all out there getting sunburned, breaking <laughs> rods, losing gear. Now I just sit here at the house and wait for the trophies to roll in. Maybe even some money. Would well, be funny if he hit, hit, uh, if Stan was the win, and Stan three messages uh, Kevin and them and tell him to send that money, send the check, put the check in his name. <laughs> <laughs> Stan said the working conditions are way better from the house. <laughs> exactly. He ain't no dummy. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> so I sit at home and reap the benefits. Oh, I tell you, y'all better not ever have a, a carp snagging tournament because I'm gonna leave you behind. He said, uh, <laughs> he said he didn't even have to put gas in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Looking at this number seven. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man. 
right, now the breeze is picking up. Uh oh, what's the name? My bad dude hooked up. Hey, has Jody oh, caught hey. anything yet? A cold. Nope. Jody has one, two, three, negative three fish. Negative three. <laughs> she ain't caught nothing. Okay. <laughs> Bob over there losing fish. <laughs> See, that surprises me too, man, because she's been on fire lately. She's been getting on some good fish. Yes. Yeah, some, 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 some days you the Some days you the windshield, some days you the bug. Yep. Artificial. I've been a bug a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of being a bug. I won't be the windshield. <laughs> nah, I gotta get back on the river, man. Get back on the river. Yeah, if I ever get all them trees out of it. Go down there and help him. You ain't doing nothing else. Well, I mean, if J Dog and Jerry Parker quit throwing logs in the water, they'd quit coming by here. <laughs> I think they'll throw chainsaws, cut them down, push them in the water. You should let your uh, let your DNR buddy know. I will give them their, give them their address. And tell them to knock on their door. <laughs> 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 that would be funny. Jerry would be like, oh, they come to give me a certificate for that big fish I caught. And Mr. Parker, can you start step outside for a minute and talk to you? <laughs> Yeah, you see it on the news. Jerry Parker running down the road with 10 cop cars chasing him in Parker Pursuits. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Mm, let's see. Let's see something right here. Let me see. Let me see. Three, seven. Ten, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, four, seven, holy moly.
See, I knew I should have fished this tournament. I could have won this tournament. They only have a hundred pounds of fish. I Shut up, man. Fish That's hours. it total. No. Night, no, ninety-eight. Ninety-eight is the number one spot. Okay, I thought you were talking about total, but everybody combined. I said, well, no way. Oh no, 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 no. no. I was gonna say we got a hundred pounds of fish on our channel alone, but I'm gonna retract that statement. <laughs> I ain't had it. Might have broke thirty. <laughs> How many fish have we caught, Brian? Ten. Ten fish all year. Let's put it this way. The bait that we all threw out weighs more than the fish that we caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It ain't, it ain't over, but the fat lady's warming up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely is. Be like that. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. I'm just glad to be out here, man. It's been a while for me. Yeah. Uh, well, we're glad to have you. I'm so glad to see Danny Stone. That's it, buddy. It's always fun when we hang out. That's right, brother. <laughs> uh, hey, am I whooping you, Danny? Bad. <laughs> oh, I'm you, I don't know why you want to let them North Carolina boys whoop up on you like that. Uh, well, like, every now and then you got to let them have something. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. I ain't pulling no 88s lately, so I better hush. <laughs> well, I always catch them when I don't need them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I can hang right here tonight, probably catch 40 fish, and I'm like, I'm not even going to do that to myself. Are you going to stay out there? I was going to, but I think I'm just going to bag it and maybe fish tomorrow. Make okay. it up in the morning and do a little stand day or something. You know what I'm saying? Day. Yeah. I, I, if the wind will calm down, I can go out there to my local pond and catch some channel cats on stand day. There might be a blue or two out there. I don't know. Supposed to be nice tomorrow. Today, talk about the 22 minute warning. Is that what we got? Nope, not no more. 18 no? minute warning. 18 Fish. minute warning now. 18 minute. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's time for the Hail Mary, Danny. Come on. Man, I held all the Marys I got. <laughs> <laughs> Danny has turned into a nun. Time to dive in, Danny. It ain't helping. <laughs> <laughs> said you wanted to show Matt a good time. I sure am glad I caught a fish. <laughs> Two old five say crunch time. Oh my goodness. No, he isn't. What did he do? Look at this booger picker. It's 205 fishing. How dare he show that?
Chad. Yeah, Josh, and then look what Chad does. No dork. <laughs> Watch what he did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just sitting out here today collecting my participation points. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sign the roster at the end of the show. I was here. I was here. Give my points. I was here. That's all right. Look at this joke. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. There we go. Why wow, both of my strings behind? Pick them back pick them back up. Pick them back up. <laughs> it said time them out. <laughs> you know what? He was here earlier. The game board did let us know that paddlefish season, snagging season is open. So uh, I'll definitely hang around for a little while, see if I can't get me a paddlefish. I got the Whoa. snagging rod laid out, ready to go. Oh, paddlefish. Oh, yeah. I ain't got one of them in a long time. They'd be a good day to do that. You ain't got a fish in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I caught a fish in your tournament. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was last week. Yeah. I take that back. I appreciate that. I'll save that for tomorrow. I just, I just didn't catch nothing for a long time before that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, seriously, dude, uh, that fish that I caught last week in your tournament, you know the last fish I caught before that was that cotton picking 88-pounder. That's been, what, a month and a half, two months? Has it been that long? Yeah, man. it's been a minute. Yeah. But, you know, I told, I, I told Richard Parker and all of them, when I caught that big fish, yeah, I was happy, but I told him, hey, it's the same thing. Last year or year before last, when I got that 70-pounder, I said it happens every time. When I catch a big fish like that, I won't catch nothing again for a long time. It's like a curse. It's like you got to pay your dues for catching that fish, you know. But they make you pay them after, not before. <laughs> I'm like, forget this. I don't like this plan. <laughs> Would you rather catch a lot of fish or catch that one fish? Man, I don't know. That's tough because when I'm sitting here with nothing on the board. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, I think that, that the answer to that question depends on uh, uh, when you ask it. Like if I'm sitting there holding a 60 or 70 pounder, I'm going to say <laughs> I like the big ones. But if I'm sitting here with no fish, I'll, I'm like, Man, I'd kill for a little one right now. So when you go fishing, if you go, every time you went, would you rather catch a lot of fish or one big fish? Oh, every time? No, I wouldn't want to just, dude, I wouldn't want to get big ones all the time. Because here's the thing. You build that reputation and everybody's going to expect that from you all the time. And there ain't nobody, nobody that can live up to that. I mean, Jerry Parker comes close. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it, it, he has his days where the fish ain't biting too, though. Oh, yeah. You know, that's why it's hard on Parker. Parker is an absolute monster hunter. That's no secret. Everybody knows it. So I think it's actually harder on him when he goes out and doesn't catch any fish than it is on me because, you know, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ain't no big deal, man. I can do that anytime. Right. I'd just rather, I'd rather just catch fish. Give me a big fish every once in a blue moon. Well, I mean, if, if you're giving me like between 10 and 20 pounders, dude, I, I'd rather catch like a, just a truckload of them every day that I go versus one big one. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that. I mean, I remember back in the days when you were somebody and you'd do a, a, a tournament and all you ever heard would probably be yelling, fish on, fish on, fish on. I don't know what happened to that guy. <laughs> His boat broke down. <laughs> haven't seen him in a while. What's up, Mike? His boat keeps breaking. Well, hey, there was at one time everybody just got sick of hearing Brian yell fish on. It's just like, oh, my God. Beauty's Mike. We don't hear it anymore. <laughs> I, was just, I was just looking for some fish. I couldn't find it. I was looking for some fish. Oh, don't go with Danny yet. <laughs> now they're in here. I ain't hooked none of them. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in here because I ain't caught none of them. That's so right. When I get back out there, it's going to be on. I have no doubt. We'll be sick of you in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> After about an hour, like, man, shut up. Who cares? <laughs> I, I'm really looking forward to the 27th, though. Uh, uh, we're gonna, <clears throat> that's going to be a, a a family thing for us, man, because we're loading up the RV and we're we're going up north to get a campsite, get it all set up. And uh Coda's gonna fish with me, so uh I'm really pumped about that. I don't even care if we don't catch anything. Uh she's gonna be there with me and man, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I just love fishing with my granddaughter. No doubt. Chad just sent a picture of his sandwich now. A little jack wagon. <laughs> I, I just let him go because you know what? Generally, the ones that brag the most are the ones that fall the hardest. <laughs> Wait till <laughs> I throw this, throw this chicken on his plate and send him a picture. <laughs> chicken, taters, some string beans. And then yeah, I'm no, I ain't staying fishing now. You don't make me hungry. <laughs> then I'm definitely going to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? Do I sit here and catch nothing or go home and eat? Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a tough call, man. That's not a tough call at all. Seven minute warning. Six minute warning. Six minutes. Six minutes from salvation. Yep. <clears throat> Who has a fish left? Who has a fish left? Every one of my rods gonna go down soon. You guys say this. the live stream is ended. Holy moly! If they did, I go over with some scissors and cut every line. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh oh, hello. Uh oh. Hey, 
definitely got a fish on. On your show, I always catch the very first fish. Today, now you catch the last. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> I told Richard, I said, I'm switching up, dude. I'm going to catch the last fish today. <laughs> and, uh, I want to learn. Buggy, what up, buggy? He's a talker. Oh, uh, you know what I'm doing? I'm looking at the six hour mark on the on the thing. But I forgot we stopped a little bit. Win, win. He locked in at 3.42. Let me weigh the grips. But 3.42. Can you see it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn him loose. Quit. Stop it. Dude, you look delicious. <laughs> All right, let me zero out my scales. I'm going to weigh these. Uh, I think these grips are like uh, 0.25 or something like that. Or The grips are point two eight, point two eight. Got it? Yep. All right. On the board. Heck yeah. Good job, Danny. Well, like I said, I don't want to catch the first fish anymore. I want to catch the last one. Well, how much time we got left, Brian? Well, you got uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. <clears throat> Turn it. Five minutes to get you on in. Well, I still got five rods out. Five rods, five minutes. Sure, we can get something. Anything is possible. <laughs> Buckman said he had Danny beat on the skunks. <laughs> what? Buckman said he got you beat on the skunks. Well, I'll let him have it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna fall asleep. I, I know that breakaway weight was still on that rock when I pulled that fish up, but I dropped it somewhere. Uh -oh. Oh, Okay, they raised three hundred and fifty-one dollars and forty-seven cents so far. Awesome. 
there's a big old giant leopard frog sitting down on the bank. I wish I'd have known that in the beginning of this. I would have got him. That would have got me a fish. Fresh fish. Fresh bait. Yeah, he's just sitting there looking at me. He probably like, hey, dummy, I'm right here. You could have used me. We lost a few. Well, we lost we lost some anglers. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, uh, yep. Big Mike still with us? Yep. We lost rigging for fatties, uh, size matters, and gills and grills. They left out early and said they were going to make a move, but they never came back. They must have went to the Chinese buffet, too. Their plan, their plan B might not have worked out for them. It happens. It happens, you know? Yep. You know, it, and it may be getting that time of the day here where these fish are fixing to turn on because usually it's an afternoon bite here. Well, you better stay there. <laughs> <coughs> Ain't got nowhere else to go. I seen your picture of my plate. I bet you won't stay there long. You're going to be gone all home. <laughs> Dude, I'll call DoorDash. Heck yeah. Yeah, I used DoorDash the first time like a couple months ago. I get fascinated by watching the car come into my house. Oh, oh yeah, there it comes. Yeah. Mm hmm. What, you don't get many visitors, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, don't don't want any. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Anybody got anything to say? Yeah. I say hey to these jet skiers. Hey. Got anything to say, JG? Oh, yeah. Hey, Brian, thanks, man. Great job today hosting, man. Appreciate everybody coming in to chat. And uh, so glad I was able to come out and fish today. And uh, hopefully uh, <clears throat> Dominic will be okay and his family pr praying for him. And we'll have to see if we can't pull some gear together, maybe see what he lost and holler at him soon. And, you know, that's a that's a real Debbie Downer on this tournament. And oh, yeah. uh, I really hate that happen to him. Man. Just, that's just awful. So, uh, but it sounds to me like he, uh, you know, he's, he's safe. But we'll uh, we'll see what's happening with him later on. But man, that's that's uh, not good news. But again, Brian, uh, great job. Appreciate all you anglers out here uh, fishing with me today. It's an honor to fish with you guys, and I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Come on, Danny. Uh -huh. Hey, I ain't the day for about one fish like I always do. You thought I wasn't going to get it, didn't you? You know I'm going to get my one. You know I am. Right, man. These these tournaments are a blast. I love last week, man. That was the craziest thing. But you know, man, I'm all about crazy. But we're looking forward to the rest of the year, all the tournaments that's coming along. Encouraging everybody to participate if they can. Because, uh, you know, Number one thing to me is, is not about money or winning, but it's spending days like today uh, on panel with uh, some of the greatest people you'll ever be around. You know what I'm saying? And I thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to do that, and I appreciate and love each and every one of you. Appreciate you, Danny. Okay. You got something, squirrel? 
Appreciate you, BB. Wind's picking up. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for watching. Uh, it was a pleasure fishing with you. Uh, everybody on the stream, Danny, JG, um, y'all take care. Catch you on the next one. Fishing with Squirrel. Appreciate you, Squirrel. Come on, Christopher. What you got to say, Christopher? What's going on, guys? We had a fun day. Caught a few fish. Uh, missed a couple nice ones. But hey, that's fishing. It's fun hanging out with everybody. Congratulations to everybody that fished and uh, just participated. That's the best part. Just participate, have fun. These tournaments, remember, if you didn't do good, it's uh, not a race, it's a marathon. So you got plenty of time, plenty of time to catch up. Um, and yeah, prayers to Dominic and hopefully uh, he's safe and all his equipment's okay. Um, you know, I've seen it happen before. This wind and this weather get dangerous, so you gotta be careful. But yeah, yeah. good luck, everybody. Thanks for having us on. Uh, we'll be back. We'll fish some more, and uh, we're gonna go get some shrimp. That's what we can. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Appreciate you, Big Mike. You mute it. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a rookie to this stuff, B. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to get back in the swing of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all having this. I'm, I'm just happy we caught a fish this time. That's all. That dude this morning, literally, I mean, he caught a 61 pounder. He caught a 61 pounder right over there this morning before I got here. Oh, wow. I appreciate you. I was like, dang it. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate y'all having it. I had a ball. We'll see y'all in the next one. I bet. Come on, Wendy Tony. Well, thank everybody for first of all, thank you, Brian, for hosting and everybody in the chat that hung in there for all six hours plus and Everybody fishing, like like they said, you know. Hope Dominic is okay. You know, it sounds like he is. So we'll we'll wait till we verify that he's okay before we start up on him. But um, other than that, you know, I, I would just say, you know, we didn't catch a lot of fish. Um, you know, there's reasons for everything. I won't even go into them right now. I'll just say, um, you know, we'll see everybody. I think in two weeks. Yep. Two weeks. We'll be back. All right. Appreciate you. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks for all the sponsors. Thanks for the anglers. Most importantly, thank everybody in the chat. We had fun. We caught fish. And we go on to the next one. Don't forget, we got the live bait challenge coming next. And that is on the 27th. You got to get in by the 20th to fish that. And that's from 6 to midnight in two weeks. The registration cuts off next Saturday at midnight. Until then... We'll see y'all on the next one. We appreciate you all. Oh!